Hello, hello, hello. everybody. Welcome to Legends of Logomancy. Uh, the best, I'm feeling called out and outnumbered from America uh, here all of a sudden. Uh, TTRPG stream on a Monday night, uh, not technically from Canada anymore. Just me. Uh, you'll notice a, a different collection of faces, some familiar and some not. Um, we have the uh, lovely Terran Pounds uh, here, and he's going to be running us through Vagabond, the pulp gaming fantasy TTRPG. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. None of us have ever played it before, I think, except for Sarah. I have not touched it yet. Okay, fair one. enough. Fair enough. All right, so this is going to be new for everybody. We're going to run through a new system. We're going to explain some rules along the way as we understand them, and then Taryn can correct us as we go. And uh, it's going to be a learning experience for everybody trying a new TTRPG game. So um, why don't we go around the table uh, and we'll start with the, the titular designer himself, uh, <laughs> Mr. Indestructiboy, uh, please, uh, for the folks viewing at home, uh, who you are, where people can find you and what you do with your time. Uh, yeah, sure. So I'm Taryn Pounds, Indestructible Boy. Uh, I really, my YouTube channel is centered a lot more around like game design with a focus on TTRPGs. Every once in a while we do weird stuff like talk about Skyrim dungeons or whatever. Um, and I kickstarted this crazy thing, uh, last year and we're getting around to doing the physical Kickstarter coming up. Hopefully fully before gen con i better be before gen con um so this is after a year of development just sort of what we're doing with this thing and uh you guys can come see the process of that over on my youtube channel that's indestructible boy there and then i stream some stuff over here on twitch and i can also go check out my stuff on the dms guild oh and i think we lost you come back I'm back. Okay. <laughs> I, I had to mute myself as I was listening to the audience. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go slightly angled. Sorry, slightly angled uh, to uh, uh, Madam Hype Goblin. Oh, Matt, Hype I feel Goblin? that makes me feel so much older. <laughs> Let me just um, <clears throat> collect myself. Uh, hey, everybody! I'm Sarah Roberts, aka the Hype Goblin. I use any pronouns. Um, if I look a little familiar to you, it's because I'm in the artwork on your screen and in the book. Um, I will be playing uh, Lucy tonight, who is uh, a Magus changeling. Uh, you can find me all over the internet as the Hype Goblin. And uh, you, if you want to know more about me, just go to HypeGoblin.com. You can check out my event schedule, both for my live events and for my in-person events. And if you're going to be at Breakout Con in Toronto this coming weekend, I'll see you there. Beautiful. I love it. Um, uh, going to the top right uh, with our... Uh, Effie the Pugilist. You want to uh, give us an intro here, Kate? Hi, everybody. I am Kate. My pronouns are she, her, and this is my first time streaming, and I'm relatively new to tabletop RPGs in general, so you can watch me stumble around a bit. It's going to be a, a blast at this point. Um, and we're all going to be super patient because not only is this uh, Kate's first time. We're again. We're all learning this system fresh, so we're all coming into it with fresh eyes. So everybody keeps a little bit of space, and we're all going to have a good time. Um, and last but certainly not least, again, and I I hate to keep doing this to you, but it seems like every stream <laughs> that we have you on, I always pick you last. Um, <laughs> Ms. Lydia, you're up. Hello. I am Lydia Corinne on pretty much all socials. It's K-O-R-Y-N. Um, I do character art for a lot of TTRPGs as well as uh, stream stuff and make uh, TTRPG memes and things like that across the internet. Um, I play Lucette, the changeling rogue today. Um, both I and my character use she, her pronouns. And I'm really excited. Beautiful. You have two changelings in the party? Oh, we're gonna cause so many problems. <laughs> I like it. Uh, speaking of problems, uh, Taryn, would you mind doing two things for me for a roll twenty? Sure. Would you mind both giving uh, myself and the audience um, access to view tokens? 
you should have that. That must be. Oh, I can see what's going wrong with that right there now. There we go. Yep. That and then if be. you can give the audience the ability to see everybody's token. Mm -hmm. I should have clarified that with you during the sound check, but we didn't get time for it. It's all good. So that'll be okay. Now you're showing me what it's like whenever. Uh, let me see here. It says controlled by. That's not vision of. Yeah. So they uh, they should get controlled control by. Of? Controlled by and control of uh, in roll twenty would do the trick. Okay. Cool. Cool. So we should have that. See, now you're teaching me some stuff about roll twenty here. Uh -huh. So oh, interesting okay. tidbit for streams. If you have another account signed into roll twenty. You can make it so the audience can see what all the players can see, but without revealing everything to the individual players. Then, ooh, okay. That's a thing I need to learn from you later on. Yeah. Likewise, okay. the uh, you can set the audience's audio to a specific thing that is not tied to yours, so you don't blow out your own ear holes. That's okay. A good time. Yeah. Well, all right. Um, well, I, I guess with that... Um, so you all have vision of the map. Everything seems correct-ish, more or less. Uh, yeah, the audience can see now too. Life is good. Okay. Everybody's having a good time. Killer. Um. Okay. So uh, this is um an adventure that was originally written for Old School Essentials by Brad Kerr called Temple of a Thousand Swords. Um, I've been running this one with Vagabond with very very minimal conversions, kind of to show off that. Um, a lot of OSR like material converts really easily over into Vagabond. Um, so this is more of a kind of like absurdist fantasy type of an adventure here and just giving you guys, I guess, your your intro, your 80s movie sequence into what all is kind of going on here. So a couple of weeks back, there was a priest that headed off to investigate a sort of local legend in the area where there is a wandering swordsman that just used to kind of lay waste to traveling adventurers and trade caravans, et cetera, et cetera. Kind of like a, a boogeyman out in the woods. And whenever he set off, no word back for several weeks. All was going quiet. Eventually, in a nearby town, whatever wants to serve our purpose, we can call it, um, I don't know, uh, Appleburg right now. Sure, uh, the town of Appleburg. Um, the water sources started to taste faintly of like iron and just odd flavors every once in a while. And then as the days kept going by, people started to notice that there were swords floating down the river or bits and pieces of them oxidized in different, like different states. Um, and eventually this became such a problem where they could no longer drink from the water source. So you all your merry band of adventurers having either traveled together or just recently met, whatever it would be, walks and traces the source of this, these swords and this taste down to what looks like an inlet with a waterfall kind of going over the mouth of a cave entrance. And every once in a while, you're able to see there's several swords that just sort of and come out from the mouth of the cave from up in the waterfall and they keep going on downstream. So with that, I guess we kind of talked about who we were playing, but we, I guess we haven't really given a, a total introduction to like what everybody sort of looks like and everything. I was like doing that kind of like towards the beginning. So um, yeah, if everybody wants to give like a brief like description, I guess we could start with Sarah. What does Lucy look like? Uh, well, uh, Lucy is currently presenting as a blonde woman in her late 20s. Uh, she is finely dressed in the nicest velvets and in brocades and embroideries that uh, an adventurer can afford, looking up at this waterfall, deciding whether or not it's going to destroy her perfectly coiffed hair. She is, of course, God's favorite princess and the most interesting woman in the world. Right on. And uh, Boris. Boris is uh, made of meat. He is a, a jacked rabbit, so to speak. Um, uh, standing about six and a half feet tall. He is a bunny man, but he is made out of, you know, girth. Um, he is decked out from head to toe in immaculate plate mail. 
um, sucking on a cigar that is conveniently shaped like a carrot that is lit at one end and um, carries a massive great shield that occasionally um, I feel like the party uh, slides down slopes on for fun. <laughs> Probably a thing. Um, Boris is, uh, again, rabbit folk. Um, he is the guy that gets in the way and shoves people to the ground so his boonsome companions can make with the stabbings and or the fires. It's a thing that happens. Very nice, very nice. And uh, how about Effie? Uh, Effie is standing very still. Uh, imagine, if you will, walking through a lovely museum full of statues from the time when they had coliseums and gladiators. And one of the statues is just very, like, in a pose of, like, I'm ready to strike. And then suddenly blinks and smiles and says, what are we looking at? And just kind of is ready to move. And, like, she is a, you know, six and a half foot tall marble statue of a woman, quite literally a marble statue with articulated uh, joints and, you know, very blank face made out of marble. There is occasional uh, veins of gold marking uh, like scars underneath what is a very uh, ancient style kind of um, frock with light leather armor and giving very much like Pallas Athena, if Pallas Athena's statue could get up and follow you around with a big smile. Nice, nice. Love All it. right, and Lucette? Uh, I am Lucette. Uh, you do not see me because I am hiding in the shadows. Um, you don't really need to know what I look like because you won't see me until it's too late. But if you were to see me, you would see uh, me presenting in my full changeling attire. I don't hide it. I use it to intimidate. Um, I am pale with pale eyes, no pupils, white hair, sleeked back in ponytail, dark garbs, and I tend to uh, go missing, as it were, amongst my party members, but uh, they always know I'm nearby. Nice. Love it. So as you all kind of gather up, <clears throat> you all are um, actually upstream from where the swords are sort of plopping out. Uh, they are kind of falling out and going to the east of you all. Um, and you do notice whenever you've walked up here, there is a definitely the sound of the waterfall, but also what sounds like a sort of muffled like <laughs> like kind of echoing from the cave itself. As we approach, I feel like Boris is probably the the loudest of all of us at any given time and he unlike his his um intelligent companions he's not trying to be quiet about this he's carrying on a conversation to nobody in particular um as he he sucks on this big carrot stogie saying strange woman lying in pawns this is no good the distributing swords is no valid place for system of government or some such thing Swords in the water is not good. As you're walking along, um, there is a small Cavalier King Charles Spaniel that is at your heel. It has mistaken your stogie <laughs> for an actual carrot. Um, and this small black tan and white uh, tricolored Cavalier is plopping along beside you, occasionally blinking over larger gaps between rocks. Uh, Lucy has a blink dog. Thank you, Taryn. I like it. <laughs> it... it Half the time, it is an actual carrot that he's just lighting the end on fire. Oh, <laughs> Peanut wants it so bad. Yeah. It's just smoked carrot at this point. Uh, friends, I, I think there, there may be somebody inside this cave. Well, that would be why we were called here. I, I don't speak... Uh, it is not my regional dialect. I'm sorry. It's less of like a grub, 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 and more like a wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Forrest doesn't know I the think difference. It, I think it was more <laughs> like a wah, 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 wah. Oh. Duck! Everybody duck, there's ducks! Boris ducks. Daggers are drawn. 
<laughs> what? I don't speak duck. Oh. I don't speak duck. Bump, bump, bump. Ba -dump, ba -dump. <laughs> I regret nothing. Yeah, it, it, it's like quacking and every once in a while just sort of like profanities and what sound like um just insults that they're slinging at each other um and then you do hear like the clashing of blades just sort of like every once in a while from it and they're like oh you got me again well eh, should we uh interrupt maybe perhaps um Go see what's what's on about. They're obviously not taking good care of weapons and throwing them in the river, and it's just upsetting people. They don't need. They need to know about good weapon maintenance. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go ahead of us, and we will wait here. And if we hear any screaming or battle, we'll come to your aid. As Sounds Lucy good. draws her own sword. Sounds good to me, Miss Lucy. Then he just takes off. Okay. Like so, do do do. Yeah. There's whenever you step in the water, you do notice that there's like pointed edges amongst the pebbles, just sort of like sticking up. Um, <clears throat> there are definitely enough like swords in here where like it's a little precarious. Um, but yeah, just you're gonna head up towards the mouth of this cave. Yep. Yeah, uh, shield in hands. Because okay. it takes two hands to hold this thing. I'm I'm basically holding um a double barn door for all intents and purposes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do 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 do. And uh yeah, he he makes his way uh up into the mouth of the cave, uh making sure that his, his party can see him. Um th this is Boris's job. His his whole shtick is is being stabbed. This, dear Effie, is what uh, Lucette and I were talking about, working smarter, not harder. And then later, I hide behind him. He's so big. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, she... Effie nods and just starts gently picking up the swords out of the water and kind of making nice, neat stacks of swords and sorting them, looking for anything that might have a little bit of gold in it as they wait. Um, yeah, there's a couple swords that you pick up that they just seem like kind of your standard issue, like, you know, uh, iron swords of some type. There's one that you pick up that it, as soon as you get the, like, blade up above the water, it just seems to, like, and, like, kind of, um, just jiggle in your hand for a second before you realize, like, it's a, it's a fishing rod sword. There's like a whole line and like hook and everything on it, but it's like shaped in a blade. So it's a fishing rod sword? Yeah, it's like a sword made out of fishing rod. Like what looks like two fishing rods that are sort of like flipped around where the reels are like the guards now. And then the blade okay. as it goes up is just like the fishing pole. Does it have a reel on it? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, Effie's going to just fling it like a fishing rod and see if she can run out the line into the water. Okay. That's dope. It, it <laughs> lands. Seems to function just like a fishing rod, but there's like two of them on this thing. She's just going to turn around to the, the two behind her and be like, does anyone want to fish? Not particularly. I'm not a fan of water. I never learned to swim. Fish oh. freak me out, if I'm to be honest. She just drops the fishing rod right back into the water. <laughs> <There's> a... <laughs> well, I don't I don't eat. Um, so As you There's... drop it, Peanut trots out into the water a little ways, picks it up by the handle and drags it back to you. As, uh, <laughs> as Peanut picks it up, there's a, a slight you. like pull on the line. And he's kind of like wrestling with the, the sword fishing rod thing as it seems like something's caught on the other end. Oh, Effie, I think you caught something. I think Peanut caught that. He might need your help. Effie just very gingerly with her marble hands reaches down and picks up 
peanut and starts walking backwards while holding the dog like this. Just kind of, is this is this helping? He's acting like a dog. Speaking? He's acting like a dog with like a rope toy in his mouth. Like he is fully like enjoying himself full on into this. Uh, is he like doing the back. like head back and forth? Yeah. <laughs> so then Effie just starts shaking him back and forth because she thinks maybe this will be helpful. Like, is this fishing? Can I reach around them and start reeling in the line? <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> <laughs> you can reach around the whole motion of her arms holding the dog. Oh, maybe maybe a little less tugging, dear. Here, you you hang on to him though. Oh. Real, 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 real. You. You reel it in, and it, as it starts to get tighter and tighter, you see something breach the water that looks like a small swordfish as it gets up, hooked on the line, and finally at the end, it sort of sits there flopping, but it doesn't exactly have, like, the marlin point. It's just a long rapier at the end of its face. Does anyone want a, another sword? I don't care for fish. Peanut, is this yours? Do you want this? He's just growling and pulling at the line still. Effie will take with one hand, like, with Peanut, and then the other hand grab the, the swordfish and hold it out like a sword to okay. her hand around its face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean... Gentle it's, stabbing motions. It's basically like you've got a rapier with, like, the worst grip ever. It's just like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I I hope that her grip is not so tight because of her marble that she doesn't like squeeze a little too much on the fish so that the fish is very uncomfortable. She's just yep. like uh, I've, I've seen Looney Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this thing and it, it sort of uh, it seems to give up the fight though as it's been hooked and now it's been up here like up above the water and yeah. Are you going to actually... oh, go ahead. <laughs> Are you going to actually fight with that, or should we um, catch and release, I believe they say? I was going to ask it how it's doing. I think it's dying, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Healing? Do we, can we heal it? I think it just needs to go back in the water. Immediately drops it. Just hands out, drops it. Lands. Kind of. What does the what does the party know about Effie's um, life experience with living creatures? Being that you're a uh, marble statue, porcelain doll, uh, constructed golem, like how how much do we know how, after or after traveling with you for X amount of time? Uh, I would say that if they speaking of Looney Tunes, if you know the big orange one that squeezed Bugs Bunny just a little yeah. too tightly. Yeah. Like maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe don't let her grab a lot of animals at once. Mm -hmm. okay. um, she doesn't mean any harm. She's just unaware of her squeezing ability is a little too much for living creatures. Okay. Darling, do you remember the time that you gave Boris a hug in the tavern and we had to gently remind you that um, the rest of us need oxygen and our lungs need to be able to expand. Yes, I remember that was very, he's so blue. Well, aquatic I creatures, I, blue. I mean, we could get some paint. Remind me next time we're in town. Um, aquatic creatures are quite the same way. However, they don't require air to breathe. They require water. They breathe through the gills. Okay. Should I go down and apologize? No, I don't. I don't think it spoke common. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. We could go after Boris though. He's not screaming yet. This is true. Not screaming yet. Yeah. So, Boris, are you like? I, I guess you're up here walking towards the mouth of this cave. I I feel like as this uh this interaction with the swordfish was taking place, Boris like full on went into the cave. Okay. Like, this has been happening. He's completely out of view at this point as they're fighting with a fish. Okay. See, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that that quacking just gets louder and louder and louder as you get closer to the mouth of this cave. Um, and as you kind of round around the mouth, uh, you can see it seems like there's a fairly 
well like torch lit corridor further on down but the thing that catches your eye is there's several like man-sized duck creatures all engaged in like sword combat just sort of fighting and they're like you bastard and like you know just continuously fighting and then like one will like strike another and goes aha another fine cut for gladio and goes and throws it on this pile in front of this massive what looks like a 30 foot statue with a footfall sized ruby like on the top of the head these duck folk as you put it um are they a um a folk that boris is familiar with or is it like these are like uh strange magical creatures or is this like oh, of course it's a duck folk like i know jerry jerry's a duck folk he likes grapes it's the thing um let's just let's just go for a lore check sure um bear with me first first it's time totally... rolling lore so my lore skill is 17 so i'm trying to roll below 17 you're trying to roll a 17 or higher <laughs> seven oh okay all right uh show me potato salad that's an 18 okay yep um so you know that these are insufferable I I creatures not of um not really of the natural world um okay. these are called drucks um sometimes like various arcane experiments may result in um unfortunate fusions or mutations uh mm -hmm. developing into some type of a creature um essentially a druck is almost like the fusion of a goblin and a duck and See, i wouldn't call that unfortunate i'd call that like <laughs> badass i'm i'm down and in their nature they are just chaotic and angry um you can see as one of them gets cut Another one even comes up and like takes what well, you can only guess is some form of excrement and rubs it on the wound and he's like, get back in there. <laughs> Seems legit. That's that's suitably chaotic. Um Boris is going to um is he of a stature above well above these creatures? Oh, of course. Oh yeah. Yeah. Love it. So the duck goblins, Boris saunters up like he's got a sway to him back and forth um and he, he leans down he's like hello little friends hello there's suddenly two of them hear their way over and they're like men men intruders men as you see about four more appear from out of the darkness to look down the tunnel and they point their swords in your direction and they're like stay out stay out there i i hold my shield i'll just like move it to one hand holding it it's like as you can see i am carrying no sword obviously i do not mean to harm you what don't bring that into this temple that's that's heresy <laughs> i can see how you might think that uh with the sword motif you have going on and me carrying a, a massive fuck off shield. Um, that, oh, <laughs> this is, I am not, Miss Lucy, I'm not so good with the taboos of culture. Oh, uh, folks, you just stay right here. And I'm just going to like plant the shield in front of me, like trying to block as much as this of this uh, passageway as possible okay. and wait for my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like hold it there? <laughs> um, I'm holding an affront to their god in front of them. Yeah, Just... you, 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 you plant this, and you hear a thud on the other side of the shield that just kind of hits, and it's like a, but it's not like a with a big amount of force. Yeah. Um, they've thrown something sloppy at you. I believe it. That's what it's there for. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I call out the cave. Oh, dear. All right, everybody. Let's see what we're in for. Um, oh. Um. Lucette, where'd you go? Right here. She comes oh. out from behind you. 
<laughs> Does Lucette have a mustache on her finger in case she needs to be in disguise all the time? Oh, it's tattooed. Oh, it's okay. tattooed. I love it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Lucy and Lucette have some very have some very like strong opinions about the mustache bit. <laughs> um oh dear. Um <clears throat> uh, do you see a way other than the main entrance to get around? Um Give me just a moment. I'm going to okay. sneak down into the shadows, just basically oh, back down it, and just oh, scan just, real fast. <laughs> disappears okay. as quickly as it arrives. Does there she look to be of... any other entrances? Or the it, it looks like this is a single entrance kind of carved into this cave. Um, as it, or sorry, carved into the side of this mountain. Um, kind of on either stretch, the only other way that you see that maybe there might be something is there's a waterfall coming out from above but the rushing like the overall force of the water that's coming out makes you a little bit wary about if there is an entrance up there you don't really know how big the gap would be to get in there you know she reappears it looks like that is probably our best bet we may be able to go through waterfall however with no real judging of that. Um, right. So we should probably go through the All right. Let's go see what we're dealing with. And Lucy will straighten her coat as they walk in. And, um, um, yes, hello. How is, um, Boris? Are you making friends? Uh, Miss Lucy, please be keeping your hair, um, out of the direction of the shit. And he's just like raising his shield and lowering it. <laughs> a, a big wad hits. Just, I'm boom. sorry, out of the direction of the what? You heard <laughs> me, lady. And um, <laughs> they, they're <sighs> duck goblins and they're throwing swords and poop. <laughs> Lucy um, shakes out a handkerchief from her pocket and ties it around her head, t tucking her hair um, back and into it. All right, well, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, would you all mind, um, pausing your flinging of excrement? We'd like to speak with you a moment. You see these, like, duck men standing on this, it looks like a shoreline at the very end of the cave, and they're just sort of like, Man? Man? Do we, can you make me an influence check? Yes, you, you delightful gentlemen up there. Uh, let's see. Where is my... Okay, so my influence is a 12. Let's see how well Lucy can do. <clears throat> I rolled a four. I'm going to now ask you to make a dodge check. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh, no. Does this as count as a, as a poopy <laughs> spell? That's a 20. Bury? Okay. Plus, um, what do I add to dodge? Oh, it, you don't add anything okay. after the roll is made. It's just what's on your sheet. Uh, oh, where does it say dodge on the sheet? It's your dex plus your awareness, I believe. So what, um, on the Vagabond character sheets, um, everything is going to be set kind of like a DC is set in fifth gotcha. edition. So what you're trying to do is the number that's on there. You're trying to roll that number or above in order to succeed on the check. Okay. So, so that would have yeah. been a total of an eight and I rolled a 20. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, you see this lob kind of just getting flung all the way through the uh, other side of this tunnel, and you're able to, like, definitely get out of the way. And they're like, heretics, keep out! No entry with the shield! Oh, is it our weapons and shields that you dislike? We don't like you either! Oh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Um, everyone likes me. I'm a delight. Especially at parties. Um, well... You can either let us through, or we're going to have to restrain you forcefully, I'm afraid. What? What do you mean by restrain? Oh, you... would you like a demonstration? Oh. Huh? Has are... no one shown you before? It's a rather fine art. Uh, are there about... any reasonably close to us? Like within uh, 40 feet? They 45 are, feet? They are kind of standing on this shoreline uh, right here at the let's see here um that's where they've been sort of just flinging stuff at you all 
Um, they are roughly, I believe that's the, the measure tool. There we go. Um, they are about 80 feet away from you right now. Okay. Is it all right if I approach you? I'd be happy to demonstrate. I'll leave my weapon here. I... You wait, wait, you you got you got we we don't like the shield. Wait, why are you getting in here? No, you stay on too. All right, I don't have to approach. I... I don't... Should I be approaching Miss Lucy? I don't know. They seem to dislike your shield. I uh, so my question is, um, do we care? Not particularly. I was going to oh. try to disarm them and tie them up, but oh, okay. um, if we want to go straight to the killing, we could do that. So, uh, Boris coils those powerful, um, thick with two th uh, C's bunny <laughs> legs, and just like look, jumper doesn't exist, but it did when I had <laughs> Boris in mind when I created the character, and he just like starts sailing forward with massively okay. powerful legs um, up to his speed. And uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, yep. Uh, so he'll move about 45 feet into the cave um, okay. and get really close. And it's like, the, the lady is asking you questions and you're yeah. being a little impolite. Yeah, and we're and going you... to have problems if you don't answer polite. As you're moving the shield forward, you can hear them going like, no, step back! And you can feel at the bottom of your shield, you are pushing up just like, it feels like um, just a heap of metal on the other end of it as various swords are just getting pushed along ahead of you. Um, even kind of like pushing the water flow to the side. Um, and these trucks are like, no, 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 you keep that back! You keep that back! And you feel more just pelting kind of on the other side of your shield. I like it. So like snow shoveling swords. At yeah, this point. yeah just I just like, love it. I'm a snowplow. Yeah. <laughs> I am down. Um yeah, I'm 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 gonna approach. Uh have given Lucy a chance to to speak. What about the other two? I have a question. Sure thing. Um with my doppelgang ability, it says human like. Would would yeah, we I mean, can allow that to work here? Oh yeah, we can allow that to work here. <laughs> um, within the shadows, unseen by <laughs> by her fellow party members, um, Lucette has started to go through this process of transforming into a, a goblin duck, um, and then uh, still in like. Uh, all her equipment and things stay the same, so you know it's Lucette. But uh, you hear a, like, pitter-patter of what I'm assuming are webbed feet uh, paddle out from the shadows. Do, do you got any lemonade? Sounds you got any grapes. Um, but Lucette will chime in and be like, it is all right. It is it is new invention. It is wonderful. It is not bad thing anymore. I heard from God himself. Quack. It's just a hiltless <laughs> sword. It's just all blade. You hold it from the side. <laughs> They're like Oh. Oh. Man, look! It's Quallette! Quallette! You've returned! It <laughs> is me! Oh, who, do you, who do you bring with you, Quallette? A friend with gift. This is gift, not 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 heresy. No, not that. We, we, uh, Gladio won't accept that. <laughs> Why not? Well, we got no weapons to weapons. Well, what, what, what do you want us to do with it? Well, why bring it in here? Well, we we needed to come through. You, uh, we, what happened to your accent? Uh, quack. Sorry, it's uh -huh. been slipping. Quack. 
our this is highly unusual. We uh I I don't see what the problem is. I think we're all just just a little overexcited, too much adrenaline, you know. Quack. You don't seem excited enough. <laughs> Oh, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to show you my friends that you aren't very excited to see, Quack. There's a soft oh. bark from behind the duck goblins. And Peanut has come to assist in the situation. I love it. So whenever you say from behind, has Peanut like blinked behind them right now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So there's that arm and then they all just like turn over and see Peanut sitting there on the ground. And they're like kind of unsure about what to do. And you see one of them go, No, no. He likes belly rubs. No. He's friendly. Can I come in yet? But, yes, can they come in yet? I'm going to need loose set. To make me the influence check with favor. Okay. Let's see. As you will see, one of these other drucks has been moving back away from the group that's at the shore. I don't see anyone but us on the shore. Where are you? Uh, you guys are all at the mouth of the cave. Yeah, you're like way back there. Okay. I haven't moved myself. And did, then... Wait, did it not update? With the beguiling nature, would I be able to use that bonus D4 too to try to convince them I'm their ally? Yes. Just. I like it. Get it. You are a very convincing duck princess, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Priestess princess? It remains to be seen. Yeah, we'll 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 see We're what the title sure. was. We'll see what they tell us. <laughs> oh, okay. Effie is already it. convinced. Effie is like, who's this new person? New <laughs> friend? Hello, hi. Let's be friends. <laughs> okay, that'll be Do a nice hug? in total. My influence Ooh. was sixteen. One of them, one of them's like, <laughs> okay. Did you at least come back with the supplies for the hatching? Oh, yes, of course, Quack. All right. Come on. Come on in. Okay, wonderful. Yay, come on, friends, Quack. Boris approaches tentatively and steps up onto the sand out of the sword water, um, being trying to make, make sure that at least there's a path for them to walk in without uh, cutting up their feet, webbed or otherwise. <laughs> um, is Chad supposed to be able to see the map too? Uh, they should be now. I jumped it over to the map view from our our. Round I can table. see it. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And uh, as you walk ashore, um, they go, "Oh, wait! Don't go any further. Hold on. There's one sec." And you can hear this like, as there's this. Massive ball. Yeah. Oh no. There's I a massive ball. There is a massive oh, no. ball. What happened next? And no. Then, <laughs> I am so concerned. Taryn's internet went blah. Blah, 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 blah. I hate when I'm presented with a massive ball and then nothing else. What what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> he no, gets sucked into the awesome. massive ball? I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's like a maybe it's like one of those newfangled chairs where you sit on it and balance. Mm. And it's supposedly good for your back, but probably mm. isn't given how much your back hurts by the end of the day. Yes, it's it's all the rage. Indeed. I like to pop them. I believe well, it. I hope he has a lovely dress to wear to the ball. Oh, we're going dancing. Okay. It helps to say quack. 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 At the ball quack. or just in this... Just here? I mean, they are ducks, so I... Well, technically, they're drucks. There's a silent R that is not so silent. It's actually a really big R. The ducks are the drucks. Got it. Crack. Yes. Peanut, did you get crack. that? Crack. 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 Yes. crack. crack. 
Yes, like they're on. It's it's a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that's it. Uh, Does you anyone know... like a cup of tea while we wait? <laughs> <laughs> a, a cup of tea sounds lovely. Uh, one of the things I might actually do is, uh, oh, uh, Taryn, Taryn says, uno momento, por favor. Uh, he'll be back in a moment. I was going to jump us to break, but if he's going to be just a moment, might as well just hang. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I guess we can just talk about the system. What do you guys think about the system so far? I know we've all gotten a few rolls in, I think, so far. I like that it is gurps on its head because mm -hmm. you're trying to roll uh, against a dc versus roll under the number mm -hmm. um but a lot of the the design sensibilities because they're sensible um mm -hmm. really line up with gurps and yeah. and uh, taryn and i were talking about that a little bit for different things like with the rogue um gurps has a thing called uh gizmo that is just like you have the thing that you need it was always in your pack the whole time as long as it's a reasonable thing like, of course, mm -hmm. I have a grappling hook and like a candle because why wouldn't I? I like systems that do that because it takes the pressure off of the adventurer to like be prepared for a situation that they have no idea what they're going into. Yes. Um, I, I really enjoy that about this. I, I also just like the simplicity of building my character. I don't know about the rest of you, but I thought it was really easy to build a character in Vagabond. Mm -hmm. it, the, you just need two pages and the, then you're good to go. The only yes. thing that I... Very easy. I the only thing that I struggled with uh, a little bit was the, because it is still in, well, it was alpha at the time and now it's in beta. Mm -hmm. um, I'd just be finished getting on with it. And then there'd be a release and it's like, oh, a bunch <laughs> of the things on my character sheet don't exist anymore. I chose them because they were broken, Taryn. I wanted yeah. to be able to jump around for a more movement speed than I had as I a rabbit. I have been watching this game since it was a twinkle in Taryn's eye be built and like the rate at which it has changed over the last year has just been absolutely wild to me. Well, I, um, luckily you, he didn't change the Magus too much before this. <laughs> are you a part of the uh, Land of the Blind Discord? That, uh, all the I play am, testing and stuff? I am now. I don't have, uh, you know, it's the creator thing. Like we all join each other's Discord servers and then we don't have time to actually interact there um but yeah i i am in there um but also just taryn every once in a while just slides into my uh dms with a screenshot to ask me what i think about certain things it's fair yeah, yeah i wake up at like five in the morning with a dm from him that was like an hour earlier i feel bad because the time zone difference and i sending him messages at like midnight and he's like yeah it's this <laughs> go, go to bed <laughs> um taryn's having a, a little bit mm -hmm. of trouble jumping back in so i'm actually okay. gonna send us to break quick and we'll get Good. some of the audio video stuff done. We'll be back in like five minutes, folks. See you in a few. Bye, everyone. Bye. One second.
one. And we're back, and we have our DM back, our lore master, if you will. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, yeah, my modem just randomly reset, so right in the middle of all this. But um, so uh, while you all have been uh, sort of parlaying with these trucks, they're like, wait, 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 hold up. And uh, you hear this like kind of almost sounds like it's approaching. Um, okay. And then over on this far west side of the room, you can see there's another like hallway that goes down towards the west. And there's a large ball of what looks like interwoven swords, um, some kind of sticky substance and feathers just sort of rolling across this chamber it looks to be like, like 10 feet tall um as it's just rolling across <clears throat> picks up more swords as it kind of goes along and then goes down this other side <clears throat> where you see there's uh oh, it looks like a flooded chamber over in that direction um and it just <clears throat> gets quieter and quieter and they're like yeah that's the sword shit ball we don't know who controls it but uh you just want to we we like to quack to let each other know what's coming through. All right, so, well, sorry, it, sword shit ball. Yeah, uh, you know. Uh, oh, okay, no, I understand the premise, but th this is quacking ridiculous. It, uh, I don't I don't agree. Quack it, uh, why do you can explain it to them. Um, <clears throat> would you like to say uh, a quack? That was right. a great explanation. Thank you. Very succinct. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's very simple. It's a sword shit bowl. Let uh, me ask you something. Uh, my fine webbed footed friends. Um, would you like for us to take care of this pest that has infested your home? Well. Past? You, wait. You mean the, the, the sea people? The what? Uh, they're, 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 the, they got fins down where, where the legs should be. Uh, and they look like people up on top. What? Mermaids. Merfolk. They, they wish. Meryl? Uh, uh, they got a real attitude to them, that's for sure. <laughs> Speaking of Meros, uh, hydrate. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Confused sometimes about how this works. Yes, that one in particular is immortal. He's going to live forever, and no one tell me otherwise. Okay. Mm. I won't tell you. <laughs> We're not getting into this again, Boris. He's going to live forever. He's going to outlive all of us. He's a delight. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, like, above board, you just see Boris at uh, a local pound finding an exact same looking dog for, like, the fourth <laughs> time this... No. <laughs> <laughs> Not my baby! <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they, they seem a little bit confused, and they're like, the one that seems to be speaking for them is, uh, I guess, enemy one token up in front. It's just sort of like, oh, it's, a, it's a miracle of Gladio! And it moves on its own, has a mind of its own. We just know to stay the fuck out of its way. Oh, what? so you're friends with it. Okay. I have a question. What, can you tell me what came first? The shit, the sword, or the ball? Uh, well, uh, Quincy is the lore keeper. Uh, Quincy, what came first? <laughs> you can see there's one of these ducks that has like its bill is just completely chopped off so it just kind of has a hole like where yeah and it's just sort of like ah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like wise words Quincy yes uh apparently the sword I guess I think I don't it's kind of hard to understand them right now but yeah it would be right. fitting with the iconography if the sword was like the main thing it's true how did it start rolling Ah, uh, Quincy. I suppose it started rolling downhill. Uh, uh, that was before our time. Uh, so it's been rolling for a long time. All right. 
since we got here. But not a good time. Just a long time. Have you how how long have you been here? Twenty minutes? Uh thirty been, minutes? Uh, it's been almost like I want to say five years. Maybe. Time's okay. an illusion. <laughs> but like but like well it's a construct, like my friend over here. Um the but you weren't spitting swords out into the river for like five years. Uh, no, uh, so, it's a divine sign. Glad you got the force working again. <laughs> oh, I see. It, I'm, I'm sorry, did you say get, get the forge working again? Yes, the sacred forge of Gladio. <laughs> Praise me! And he goes and he just like flings his sword like over on the pile. And you see the other ones like kind of raise their hands up and they're like, Yes, praise me! <laughs> okay. Did. Horace, did he just disarm himself for us? Yes, ma'am. And uh, so Boris uh, coils these again double C thick legs <laughs> and uh, squats right down like in a sumo stance with a knuckle into the sand and uh, like like the anime character he is yells out banishing rush and does a bunny rush and uh, slams his shield into this fella that doesn't have a sword anymore <laughs> so he he throws this sword over and he's like Praise me, and just in time for you to like rush Wham. into him. Okay, yeah. so now, this <laughs> brings up a couple mechanical questions I have for you. Okay, so I am an armored titan, at mm -hmm. being a vanguard. So uh, I'm considered large for the purpose of shoving, and my mm -hmm. intention is to shove this dude down into the sand. Uh, but it also says if you successfully parry an attack with a shield, I can shove as a part of that parry. But I don't mm -hmm. know how parrying works in this. And it's not if, on my sheet. So if something is to attack you, yep. you can uh, so you can choose to either dodge or parry. Oh, um, uh, my sheet says endure. Uh, so there is endure. So the defense check section, and that all kind of feels a bit like uh, saving throws from any, like, yeah. you know, D&D &D or Pathfinder, right? Mm -hmm. um, but in Vagabond, what you can do is you can dodge, which is the dodge check against an attack, yep. or you can parry, which is you're making a melee attack against that attack. Mm -hmm. And if you succeed, you remove a damage die from the damage. Okay. And you succeed by meeting or exceeding their roll? Uh, your roll. Okay, fair enough. So no matter what they roll to hit me, I can remove a damage dice from them if I uh, can also hit. So enemies are all assumed to hit. Yeah. They will never roll a d20. Okay. Got so it. this is all, all the onus is always on the heroes to prove that they do the things that they're wanting to do. But of course. <laughs> I like it. In, in this, and we're doing a group initiative system, correct? Correct. Um, can can I collaborate and use my action to command Pina to go stand behind the person that Boris is charging? Um, Absolutely. To try and get this uh, duck person to go bloop and fall Asshole over my dog. feathery bum. Yes. We'll, we'll we'll say that this. Uh, so this is going to be the ch the attack with the shield. Yes. Um, and this is going to be favored because you've got Peanut helping you to topple this guy over. I like it. Uh, I also have. Um... Because I'm um, a min-maxer to no uh, small point. Um, with packed instincts, uh, any attack checks against targets that are adjacent <laughs> to my allies are always favored. Mm -hmm. um, and if I'm not incapacitated, uh, I don't take any damage from falling. And don't land prone if I fall. Life is good. So <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll this with favor, a.k.a. if you're familiar with D&D, &D, advantage. Mm -hmm. Legally so. protectable advantage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my melee attack is sitting at a fourteen, and I rolled mm -hmm. a seven. Your your melee attack is sitting at a fourteen. As a vanguard, I'm curious. Uh, how can you? I'm just curious about 
I have a might of six. And you, let me double check something real quick. So you have a might of six and you're, you should be, oh, am I, am I correcting an error right here? Oh, maybe because you know what? I want you to, oh, um, so you see the box next to melee? Yeah. That's your training. And if you select that, which okay. you get training as a Vanguard, it okay. doubles your stat when calculating what you need to hit. Cool. So I, I don't yeah. think I saw that in the character um, uh, creation section. That, I want to say, is in... And not only are we learning the system, we're also uh, finding some layout bugs as we can go along. Um, it's a thing. Playtest so th done. This is in the hero creation section on page, well, it looks like 10 from what I gave you all. Okay. Um, I, I should also clarify. So I, I rolled with advantage. I got a 7 and a 15. I was okay. thinking GURPS for rolling or t telling you the lowest. So a 15 on an 8. Okay. Yeah. So you run up and <clears throat> you just shove this guy up from behind and he goes toppling over, just lands right into the dirt. That or is sand, I guess. Two points of blunt damage. All right. From the great shield as I, I crunch him down with a crunchy boy. So he lands with a whack and the others okay. now, after seeing this turn over towards you all. And are like, <laughs> so we are in group initiative. So in this system, um, I like to think of this as like the the team that you all are working with should be kind of coordinated as warriors in some way, right? You <laughs> all are like a team that's fought together. So feel free to do like the war gamey kind of tactic talk if you guys want to about how you should use your turn or whatever you kind of want to do. But you are all acting on the same shared group turn. And the mm -hmm. enemies will all act on the same shared group turn. So, so since yeah, I'll, I'll I'll clarify Boris's intention here. Um, Boris is essentially you've seen him do this a number of times. He will knock a creature to the ground and step out of the way to allow you guys to do your business with them. If he gets back up, he's gonna knock them to the ground again until he's not getting up again. <laughs> and in the meantime. <laughs> He's going to kind of position himself between uh, you guys and the rest of the guys. So, yeah. Okay. He, he steps out of the way so he's not an inconvenient barricade for them murder, murder hoboing this uh, hapless duck man. So how about like right when this work to kind of be in between them? I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, we can't hear you anymore. That is a that is a me problem. I <laughs> I muted my mic for a second. Um, are you guys still back in the tunnel, or if you moved up onto the sand as we were conversing with these folks? I feel are like there... we've all walked up into the sand and conversed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel free to position yourselves as you would want to. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. For um for the the group initiative, it would have taken a um an action for Lucy to command Peanut to assist you to get you that favor. Um, mm -hmm. But I like to think that Peanut has watched you do this so many times now that it was actually Peanut, uh, narratively, who saw you, like, get into your bunny stands and then just watched you and, like, looked at, like, where you were going to go and then just darted out um, to where you were going to land. I feel like this is a game at this point of, mm -hmm. like, Peanut just, like, goes behind the people and we push them. Peanut has no <laughs> concept that he's in danger ever. Yeah. This is all so much fun. Traveling with mom's friends is the best. Sometimes there's <laughs> snacks. Sometimes he gets carrots that aren't lit on fire. <laughs> I like it. Um, and the, uh, oh, yeah. sorry. I, I was going to say, uh, and what about uh, our our monk friend, our pugilist? Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> I think Effie is not quite sure that she wants to start Fighting, but as soon as she sees that like the fighting has started, she's going to go to the nearest enemy and give them a George oh, Jesus. <laughs> a George hug. 
I like it. <laughs> and okay. like grapple a uh, grapple them with a nice tight squeeze and just be like, friends? Are we friends? I thought we were friends for a second there, but I'm really not sure. So I'm just gonna hold on to you. Are all okay. your unarmed strikes just flavored as I'm just gonna bear hug you until you don't move anymore? Not all of them. But <laughs> some of them. I like it. I like it. I'm here for that. <laughs> She's also cool. very like punch until you don't move anymore. Just rapid, just back and forth. So the closest she likes to one start with a hug. <laughs> the closest one would be enemy one, which is currently prone. So you would have favor on this check. Uh, yes. Unless you wanted to take on one of the other ones. But yeah, that one enemy one right now is knocked down into the uh, sand and other stuff. It is. I'd suggest going yeah, I was... for a different one so that I can get the favored and then I can do sneak attack. Hmm. I was thinking of going for either six or three. It's worth stating that anybody that is adjacent to me also has favor on all of their dodge checks as well. Standing beside the tank is a good advent or advantage to uh, you guys staying alive. Okay. You all have advantage just because I'm in your party and I'm a delight. <laughs> <laughs> well, naturally. You just rock that hard. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Effie's going to go to enemy six okay. and grapple okay i like it how yeah. do i do <laughs> uh so you're gonna, be making, <laughs> you're gonna be making a brawn check okay so it's gonna be rolling the d20 to see if you meet or beat that number on your character sheet mm -hmm. oh and i just realized uh maxwell polikoff the arter the artist for all the vagabond stuff is like in the chat right now hey maxwell oh, hey. <laughs> hey maxwell this well, art is my background on my phone i love it thank you <laughs> well i rolled a two <laughs> okay so and i don't don't think that works so what you can do in this system is there's a stat that you have called luck uh -huh. and if you would like to re-roll that one you can spend a luck to re-roll that d20 I don't think I have, I haven't put anything in my current luck. Do I have luck to begin with? Yeah, what is your luck stat as it's shown right there? It should be at least a five. two. Oh, yeah, so then you I got... have five in my stat, so I don't have anything in my current luck. You should have five luck right there in the current luck. Talk. Okay, great. So if you wanted to re-roll that, you could by spending one luck. Okay, let's try it. All right. That's a nine. And, what's and I'm your going brawn? up against my brawn, which is an eight. Okay. So you go up to this thing um, as its attention is turning back, as this other one has like landed in back uh, face down in the sand and bear hug it, <laughs> feeling it's. <laughs> <laughs> as it's almost getting choked out right now. <laughs> I like it. And now, I guess we have loose set. Awesome. Okay, so let's see. I want to just... I guess I'll just go with my crossbow. With okay. a light crossbow. We'll go with that for enemy one and use sneak attack. Do it to um, it. If, if I can hit. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so that was a 13 on die, and then I'm going against a 10. So you shoot at this one as it's just down on the ground and <laughs> pierce its side. Do the damage. Oh, and Do then the with your damage. sneak attack. Yeah. Okay, and then with sneak attack, um, also, since we're level two, I mm -hmm. get to double my number of sneak attack dice against beings that haven't acted that yet. Are you an assassin? Would that count for this? All right, yes. Uh, it has not acted yet, 
So yes, that would double the number of sneak attack dice. Okay. Oh, I, I mean, it. this one's getting messed up in particular. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Right? Uh oh, is that me again? Nope. Nope. That was Lydia just uh, glitching out for a sec. Oh. Oh no. Sorry. Oh, her uh, her Wi-Fi was just uh, kicking it for a moment. Uh oh. No, I still, I she's still moving. She's still got it. She's still okay. I just can't hear her. The ball got her. The uh -oh. ball got her. Know. Yeah, right. The ball of sorts and she. <laughs> it's gonna take us out one by one. She held up a finger. She's like, "I'll be right back." Yeah, I'll uh, I'll have to get your perspective on the uh, optimizers, the uh, min maxers side of things. How it feels making characters later on. Yes, I. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie i was really keen on the whole like i'm gonna be a jumper everything is gonna be jumping but i yeah. understand i get it i don't <sighs> i'm not holding a grudge i kept trying to figure out a way to make it like stay in specifically because well because i mean not just for boris here but uh one of the big big active play testers is really big on anthropomorphic bunny stuff and yeah. i was like i would love to figure out a way to make it work but the thing is, every time I kept tweaking with a new idea with jump mechanics, mm -hmm. it just it just kept it, it kept breaking the game in half. And it was realistically, like, ah. um, I would I would take a primary beast kin ability as um, you can move up to your speed uh, vertically or horizontally. Yeah, um, because I mean, yeah. it being a primary beast kin ability, you're giving up some really cool stuff like flight and everything else, right? For the purpose of flavor, and if it's the one thing that you want your character to be about, it's great. Yeah, I mean, you're you're also giving up things like flight and yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we've been told to hydrate everybody. Oh, why? Thank you. I I appreciate the RT Corneo. Cornejo? Cornejo. Mm. Okay. Yeah, feel free to share with us your opinions about the system and what you've seen so far, yeah. too. Absolutely. Thank you for sticking with us through all the technical difficulties tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little bit of connection shenanigans. It's a thing that happens. It is. It happens more often than not in streaming. <laughs> it's one of those things. I, uh, um, I, I fight very hard to uh, try and make sure that I'm always on a, a hard line connection rather than Wi-Fi mm -hmm. because existing in a basement, the Wi-Fi is no good. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I Even see Olivia. Sure. Yeah. Here. You are here. I can <gasps> yeah, hear you. Okay. <laughs> I was. I like already rolled the damage. I'm like. I'm just. I'm just ready to put the damage in, and they just keep going until it. <laughs> <laughs> Moon life is technical difficulties already. We don't it need is. anymore. <laughs> okay. So was... Before before it gives out um with sneak attack damage it was nine damage total okay so you shoot that bolt in and that duck that was like just suddenly goes quiet and does not seem to move quack quack mother ducker <laughs> <laughs> and the other ones turn around and see uh a quack quack Claudia? Claudia? There we go. Yeah, I don't know. I was it's it's Claudia with a Q. All right. So Claudia. Uh, now it's standing there having <laughs> just shot the leader. Look over and they're like, betrayal! Betrayal! And this one, um, I'm gonna need Effie, uh, as this one is trying to break free of your grapple. Um, I need you to make me another brawn check. This is totally making it to TikTok, Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> Duck one liners. Uh, eight. <laughs> it meets it. Okay, so it's like struggling, and you just keep gripping it tighter as it's like, Arr! and the quack, other one's quack, 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 quack. Yeah, and it's like, Arr! and it's okay, uh, it's all quack. Everything's all quack. It's fine. <laughs> uh, these start coming up from either side. Now, Boris. Um, this one that's come up from uh, the other side of you is going to try and swipe at you with this nasty-looking longsword. 
I would That's need you to choose to number either three. Make. Correct. All right. So uh, let me consult um, the screen quick. Uh, and by that, I mean my my character sheet that is full screened mm -hmm. here for me. Um, so he's attacking me. I can either try and dodge, try to endure, which is withstand the physical harm. Um, what are the differences between them? So what you can do here is choose to either dodge or parry this attack. Okay. So attacks can be either dodged or parried. Okay. Um, endure is only whenever that's kind of called for. Oh, okay. Uh, so like against gas and stuff like that. Cool. Um, Saving same throws kind of shenanigans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. specifically for attacks, these are either dodge or parry. And okay. parrying is using your shield here. All right, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and parry this because if I parry with the shield, I can then shove the attacker, mm -hmm. uh, and then if I manage to shove him, I can also choose to push it up to ten feet away. Cool. All right, I'm going to uh, roll. Let's see how it goes. Uh, that's going to be so my my melee attack is an Correct. eight, and that's a fifteen. Okay. Yeah. So. As this one comes up from the other side and like hits, you're just able to like brush it off with your shield. Super yeah. cake. Um, point of clarity on the rules because mm -hmm. I can shove him up to ten feet. Um, uh, sorry, I can either push it up to ten feet away from me, or mm -hmm. push it up to five feet away and knock it prone as a part of this. Correct. Is that directionally coded, or can I choose which away direction from I'm going to? Is, is directly away from you. Okay. So like so, you're be pushing this guy backwards into the water. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to shove enemy three backwards five feet and knock him prone into the water. Okay. Yeah. There's that. He, he hits my shield and I'm just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's here. Ah! And he lands with a splash. Uh, Apologies the others, for the plosive. <laughs> the others, uh, Enemy four and enemy five are coming after Effie. So Effie, uh, they are attacking you right now. Um, you can oh, no. choose. You can choose to either make a dodge or a parry check. And your dodge would be at a uh, favored because you're beside me. Okay, um, that is a great question. You said dodge or parry. Correct. And parry is going to be with your brawn. Right. Okay. Um, so at second level, mm -hmm. no, that's just to check. Okay. Um, dog checks. Okay. I'm going to do a dodge. I'm going to dodge. Okay. And we're going to do it by rolling for my dodge which is 14 is that right yes favored favored which means i roll twice yes mm -hmm. it's like advantage from 5e e. oh i have a one and a five Oof. uh so that one comes in and takes a swing and it does connect as you is the chaos of you trying to grapple this thing. Uh, that's going to be for two slash damage. Okay. And are you currently wearing light armor or medium or sorry, light or heavy armor? Light armor. So then you're going to take one damage from that as the armor reduces the damage. Okay, so my health is down to is going down. You said one. It's just, yeah, oh. it's just one. Okay. Got it. Awesome. Now, the other one is going to come in and do the same thing, taking a swing at you, so you can make okay. either a dodge or a uh, parry. Uh, I'm going to try and dodge again. Do I still have favor? Yes. Okay. As long as you're around me, you, you still got Boris, favor. yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I got a 4 and a 15. So that one makes it. Okay. And once, uh, so I have fisticuffs. So if I pass a dodge check, I can make one attack with a fist weapon. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. 
So since I passed the dodge check, I can. Yeah, you like, you're like currently like grappling this truck with the one arm, and then as that one comes yeah. up and tries to like swing at you, you can just like backhand it. Can you I didn't just, plan like... this out at all in any way, shape, no. or form. I promise. <laughs> it's very with the she's got the castus. I've never said this word out loud before. Castus on. Set what really? Sesty. Okay. <laughs> just... Okay. <laughs> Me all the time. It's just like one of my favorite weapons in Dark Souls. So I was like, that okay. yes, we're gonna make that yeah. a thing. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> They're Say like it, studded ever. leather gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sesti. So you just pop this other one. <laughs> yeah. Sesti or Sestus. Oh, that's not really a, like a grind. It. It's more like you hear like the grinding of marble on marble. Crunk, crunk. <laughs> And she's so go ahead and make that. Uh, it's going to be a uh, another brawn check to attack it. So just wham. okay. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. That. Uh... Dark Souls Two says uh, says the Elden Ring. Elden Ring says is insane. <laughs> yeah. That is a nat twenty. Oh, okay. So then you're going to roll the damage die and then add your might to that. Damage die is. Is it just another D20? Uh, it's a D6. D6. And then you add your might to this roll. Two plus six is eight. Uh, yeah, you... <laughs> um, you smash this in and feel what almost feels like a ceramic plate on the other side of your fist just smashing in as this thing's build just folds into its face and it falls back. <laughs> Yeah. Does she not break the his goose beak? Up? The beak? Yeah, just and it falls back down into the ground. And it is Ewell's turn. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. So um uh order of operations check here. Mm -hmm. Uh enemy three is currently prone in the water, mm -hmm. and that means that any attacks against it would have favor. Correct? Correct. Okay. Um, and enemy six is... Currently grappled. Currently grappled. Okay. Um, Miss Lucy, do us the honors, if you would. You, you didn't get to really do anything last turn, so... Uh, I'm, the honors for what? I'm not going in after that. Points oh, to I, the one in the water. <laughs> I figured you would just like I make it, it explode. I just with immediately your mind. Sh I just shoot the one in the water behind her. <laughs> I love it. That's Go for really it. my favorite. Don't tell the others. <laughs> Not that kind of wizard, dear. Uh, and uh, as she says that, she is going to blink. Uh, and she will pop up right behind this one, number four, and okay. just lean in. Salutations, darling. Rawr. Any last requests? <laughs> That'll be your like, turn. No, no, no. Because <laughs> it just saw its buddy just get its face <laughs> caved in. I'm here to intimidate, okay? <laughs> you uh, want someone Lu freaked out in battle? Lucy's got your back. Um, but yeah, that'll be her turn because she her action is to cast that and be there for support. All right. Gotcha. Uh, Lucette, you popped off that shot. Let's hear what the... Ooh, how was the roll? It was a nat 20. Hey! <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is going to be um, adding the... It's, so it's the damage of the attack plus your awareness. Okay, and do I have sneak attack on this one too? Correct, yeah, you do. Okay. What's the qualifier so, for sneak that... attack in this? Is it favor? So, uh, favor and... Uh, <laughs> Flanking rules, if I remember that right. Hang like favor second. and proximity are the uh, the two bits. So it's going to be uh, flanked or surprised or favored. Okay. And then um, each of the different rogue gigs gets their own unique way that sneak attack works out. Like it. Ten total. Uh, yeah, that one falls down into the water in time for a bolt to go soaring into its body, which is now a corpse. I kind of feel bad. <laughs> Quick, they don't last very long. 
it is not terribly satisfying. Uh, so... <laughs> I found that to be rather common in life, dear. Mm. <laughs> uh, enemy six, you said, is grappled, which Correct. would mean that I can attack it with favor? Yes. Okay. My intention is to um, bulldoze it down into the ground uh, and then step over it to position myself between four and six so both um, Lucy and Effie can uh, take advantage of me being a tank. Uh, so I'm going to roll uh, my melee attack against enemy number six with my great shield. Cool, cool. All right. And with favor... Uh, that's going to be a 17 versus my eight. So I think I hit. I I hope so. Yeah. I believe so. Uh, th for only one point of blunt damage. Okay. But it's the bottom of the shield. I just raise it up and pull the, uh, the whole, um, uh, new Captain America, uh, John, whatever his name is, and just bring it down into the dude. I think that I think that was like a Tyrion Lannister move at some point. If yeah, I that too. That, that right? too. Yeah. <laughs> like right into the base of the bill. And right. then I step over his body, um, whether it's alive or not, to position myself here. Okay. Yep. So yeah, you, you bring the shield down just almost like walking over it casually. And, and Effie, you can see this thing Excuse just me. Ah, almost mm. eating the shield. Hmm. So I think Effie. That's a new bill. He's got a new bill now. Yeah. Like an improvement. I can you know, give like, him his old well nose if you want again. <sighs> Quack. Okay. She doesn't look true. So, no. <laughs> Quick. So so that leaves enemy four. Enemy four? And enemy six is still yeah. alive. Yeah, I only hit him for one point but of damage. Down. Okay. He's yeah. just Right. Um, you, you still got it grappled like it is still like basically the way i see it is it's like in your armpit and you've got the other one that you just you know you smacked um so this one just definitely just got a great shield to the face okay is the shield still in its face i brought it with me <laughs> okay. it's the size of a uh... door yeah that would be difficult to continue to hold on to yeah. Um, okay, so since this one is still grappled and we're doing pretty good with hitting it in the face with a shield, Effie's going to uh, do fist weapons and then punch enemy four. Okay. Um, so you're going to go ahead and make that brawn check. Okay, I can do that. That is a nine, which beats eight. A. So, yeah, you're just like popping these ducks as they keep coming up behind you. So what's the damage on that one? Uh, so it's another, it's a D6 plus my might. Uh, this one's just a D6. Just a crits, D6. Yeah, crits add your stat. Okay, so this is a six. Uh, okay, not like you really needed the, the stat at this point. Um, <laughs> is that one takes a punch and just immediately falls backward, almost like towards Lucy. So you just see this duck now lying either concussed or dead. As it starts to fall backward, Lucy just like one finger pushes it off to the side so it doesn't fall onto her. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Great job, dear. Thanks. Teach me yeah. how to blink. Okay, here's what you <laughs> do. <laughs> you take your eyes, and then you take the little meat slits, and you make the meat slits smaller every time Please until there's no first. slits left. <laughs> you, you must kill the slits, and then you bring them back. Become a necromancer of eyes. Like Lucy. Ah! Oh, I, I oh, Boris, you have such a way with words. Boris, Thank I you. hated the term meat slits. Please never <laughs> use that term ever again. Oh, is it a, well, is it a duck thing? I'm so sorry, stone. princess. These are no, stone. They're, uh, they're stone slits. Oh, no. oh, stone slits. 
Marble slits. slits. Oh, slits with marbles. Got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this took a I, turn. I believe that he was referring to my magical capabilities anyways, but nonetheless, I'm glad that we all understand the mechanics of blinking now. Um, who's taking care of this last one? Um, hey, well, who hey, knows hey, because... watch, watch this. Well, I, I, it gets a turn, technically, before it's, it is their turn as it lets out this deafening quack. I'm going to need everybody within 15 feet of it to make me a endure check. An endure check. All right. That is might plus might. Beautiful. See, my might is five, so it'll be 10. I rolled an 18. Uh, okay. So I've got an 11 on an eight. So I think I passed. Yep. Yep. I've got a one. I got a nat one um, for total four. Okay. Uh, so Whoa. each of you takes three sonic damage as this deafening, quacking scream it just let loose has temporarily like blown your eardrums uh you're currently deafened um even if we succeeded the endure oh uh the ones that failed sorry okay sorry only the ones that failed um and as that happens the other ones that didn't have their ears blown out temporarily um hear this like over here man over here (laughs) as more of them come from this west room uh now with that it is you all's turn you are a very loud duck no yes no more of that cast mute on the duck okay cast what (laughs) i would like to cast mute on this duck (laughs) okay (laughs) i'm done with that we're not doing it again you're going in timeout or die (laughs) either one um what? do i do okay so explain casting checks right so um you as a magus mm-hmm. can either choose uh or i guess you would have made a choice um you're either casting your spells with arcana or mysticism i believe i'm using arcana yes okay so what you're going to be doing here is since we already know the essence that you're casting uh, mm-hmm. You're just rolling to see if you succeed on casting it to affect another creature. Um, if it was like for yourself and it's stuff that you're doing on your own, that's just stuff mm-hmm. you can cast as a freebie. Okay. But yeah, this is affecting somebody else. And my arcana is an eight, so I just have to get above an eight? Correct. Gosh, I like this game. That's a 16. Okay. As it lets this loose, it's just suddenly like, just suddenly gets completely cut out as it's like screaming, kicking. Uh, it just stops. Much better. Hey, now you can't hear it go. <laughs> Is that when you hit it? Yeah. <laughs> um. Would it be fair to say, uh, because it, well, now technically it's still grappled and prone mm-hmm. and muted, uh, rolling with favor? Yes. That's a natural 20. Okay. <laughs> so that's a D6 plus my might, correct? Plus your might. Okay. Are we the bad guys? So that's a, a, a five with a might of six. So 11 damage to a <laughs> muted duck. Um. Yeah, because this one is sort of like escaping me at the moment. You you describe what like what's the what's the the cinema of this I, action here? I I feel like uh it's it's losing its its GD mind and it's just like <laughs> nothing's coming out. And as it turns and opens its mouth exceptionally wide for a moment, the shield just kind of comes in and the duck <laughs> ceases to be there's just like a cloud of sand and there's just like um uh wicked witch underneath the house vibes of duck feet hanging out and they just go wow what a world 
Yeah, they even slightly like curl up yeah, whenever this yeah. happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's um, it's not uh that's not uh accurate in the animal kingdom, but we're gonna say these ducks, their feet totally do the spider thing. And uh as its body just lays there, um Effie, this one is out of your grasp now and loose set. Um those of you that have passed the checks are aware of what look to be reinforcements of one, two, three, about four of these duckmen coming from the west side. West side? Up. Oh, nope. Yeah. Point of clarity. Can mm -hmm. we move and take a, an attack? Yeah. Okay. Um, am I able to position myself between the party and uh, um, yep. our, our would-be attackers? Mm-hmm. And does uh, Va uh, Vagabond use um, diagonals as five-foot squares? Yes, uh, it, it's the the cake way to handle battle. <laughs> that, Absolutely, uh, it everything's is, yeah. It's appropriate. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, eh, excuse me, Miss, excuse me, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yeah, yeah. But again, yeah. Th thick bunny thighs, and he just kind of like sails over with his speed, and dashes some sand around as these fellas approach. I'm just casually walking behind you, fluffing my my lace cuffs. I'm casually in the front fluffing my fluffy, fluffy tail. Don't fluff that at me. We've already talked about this. That's rude. Not oh, in public. It's not a cultural thing, though. It's just it itches sometimes. <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> the, the duck right up front goes, Man, we've got fluffers! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look, it's a very important industry job, okay? Yeah. No, uh, I don't think Lucette or Effie went that turn. Mm -mm. Um... Uh, oh, by the way, would you roll a d4 for me? Ooh. Both of you. Oh. Uh, Lucette or Effie? or Oh, both of them. Because uh, okay. they're the ones that are deafened right now, correct? Mm. Mm -hmm. I got a three. Three? Okay. I also got a three. Oh, okay, Freezies. so you're both still deafened at the moment. Oh. Uh, well. We're are are we aware of them though? Um uh, we you hear all them, definitely but... would have seen not just Boris smash that truck down in there, but as they're both running in the other direction to meet with four of these creatures that are now coming from that one hallway. Lucy was casually walking. She does not run. Oh, okay. Did she <laughs> saunter? Mm -hmm. Lucy arrives when she <laughs> intends to. Never yeah. before, never late. Sachets. <laughs> it's um, all about the I, sway. Mm -hmm. I do have a question. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, this may have been updated, but I'm not sure. But the sneak attack I have written down was um, if it's favored or you're behind the target. That was changed. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, so that's just flanking now. Um, okay. So if there's something on the opposite side of it and you're like directly adjacent to that uh, target, then it applies. I okay. tried doing the backstab thing because I thought that that could be a fun. The narrative would make sense of the tactics mm -hmm. and it just didn't really click. Uh, there, there was causing too many headaches. So now it's just blank. OK, I got you. OK, let's see. Where can I get? OK, then we will just hold on to that, I guess. I'm going to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoot a little bit forward. And I'm just going to take a shot at. Uh, we'll go for enemy two. They're at the front. Why not? Um, with my crossbow. But no sneak attack, I don't think. Let me two I'm adjacent to. Or would I have to be on the opposite side, Terrence? You would have to be on the opposite side. Um, Understood. Okay. And then in order for her to flank, she would have to also be in melee with it. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so then I will just go ahead and try to make that shot. Okay. I will knock them down for you for the next time. Thank you, Boris. Um, that was 17 on die, looking to beat a 10. Mm -hmm. And so then that'll be... Four damage. So as it starts rushing in, um, 
to meet with Boris. It's first met with a crossbow bolt to the beak. Um, that just hits and... Uh, and Boris, you see this one now has a... Yeah, <laughs> this one now has a large like metal rod just sort of sticking from its face as it looks at you like... <laughs> <laughs> now, Effie? Effie is... First, she's going to pick up those duck feet that were on the ground. <laughs> just like... She wants to hold on to those for some reason. Um, like you know, like when, you know, maybe soup later. Uh, mm. But duck soup. I think her speed is 35, which will get her to both enemy four and five. Okay. Um, so I think... She's just going to do a melee attack. Okay. No. Yes. No. Maybe. Oh. Oh, by the way. Oh, okay. um, So the thing with your fists, um, mm -hmm. since they are not two-handed weapons, you are, quote-unquote, dual-wielding with them. So you can okay. make... Two attacks on the turn. Great. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> so she's going to hit uh, enemy number four and just do fistic fists. Yes. Okay. So would to move you right here? Great. So okay. qu clarifying question, because chat mm -hmm. pointed it out. So we can spend luck to get favor on an attack. Yeah, I did see. Oh, and Inspiration Follows is uh, the LM that is running the playtest stuff over in the Vagabond uh, Discord. Awesome. Uh, yes, so if you spend uh, luck to get favor on a check, it does okay. apply to sneak attack. So that's cool. it's luck is a sneak attack trigger for Rogue. Got gotcha. you. Nice. Okay, can you remind me like how much luck we like start with? Yeah, so what is your current luck stat? Uh, my current luck stat is four. You have four luck. Okay. Noted. And does Thank that you. recover like every session? Is that a like a I I am still trying to toy with the refresher on that. As of right now, I'm running it per session. Okay. Uh it says in the book every rest or uh every rest, mm -hmm. but I'm starting to feel like it might need to be a per session style thing. So that's what I'm gonna be running with in the next update. Cool. I like it. Sweet. Noted. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, so since okay, so we're a little bit too far away to get favor. Uh, are are you asking for um, on enemy four? Uh, since I am next to my bunny friend, do oh. I get favor or am I not? Oh, quick? you have you would have favor on dodge checks if you're adjacent oh, okay. to me. Um, mm -hmm. And you would have favor if I've already knocked them down. I see. Them okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm doing my melee attack. So I'm rolling to beat Braun. my melee brawn. Yes. Okay. I can do it. So this. do pugilists <laughs> never use a melee attack? Uh, pugilists, the thing with them, um, they're whenever they're using fist attacks, yeah. uh, that's made using brawn or okay. finesse um so with that uh it makes it to where like they don't have to build into another stat in order to be better at grapples and shoves okay um, it's all like handled under the same wheelhouse understood i do have melee attack so that's, that's like melee trained. weapons got it okay got it yeah cool um so i did 12 so i made that okay so do that damage should be a oh. d6 yes. dual wielding. and you do have that dual wield so roll d6 again uh you can uh make another attack if you so choose i would so choose that's a 17 so it makes okay. that and that's another two. So that's okay. two and two. 
So as the other one gets the crossbow bolt to the face, you just come up and wham, wham. On the other one is it just, rah, rah, and <laughs> they turn their attention over to you all. Um, and with that, let me see here. One, two, uh, Effie and Boris. There we go. Hello. Um, <laughs> uh, this one. Hi, Boris, do you want to be friends? No. <laughs> and it takes a swing at you. Uh, Effie, I'm got enemy four and enemy five are making attacks at you, so you can choose dodge or uh, parry. You get no help from me this time. Okay. Um, I'm going to dodge. Okay. So that is... It'll be two separate dodge instances. Okay, the first one is the 13, and my dodge is 14. Oof. And then this one is 7, so okay. do not dodge. Dodge does not happen. I do not uh, get out of dodge. The, the, you're, you're very lucky because they're rolling pretty low tonight. Uh, the first one, as it brings its sword across, would have dealt two damage. Uh, your armor seems to be taking the front of it. You only take one damage. Um, the other one is, is brings its sword up. You just feel it graze off as you like raise up your say, uh, Cesty, I guess we'll say. Um, and it's able to just kind of barely nick it. Um, this other one, seeing them fail, is going to come at you again. And I'm going to need another dodge or parry. And then Boris, enemy two, is going to be coming after you. So let's try parry. I haven't done that one yet. Okay, so uh, that's going to be same. with your brawn. Okay. Why was I doing that? Uh, eight, and my brawn is eight. Nice. So that one brings the longsword down, and as it does, you're just able to like, bam, knock the longsword out of the way. And when that happens, yes, uh, that one goes, fall back! Crawl back! We're not doing anything! Get back! Get away! As this one is going to start trying to move away. Um, with that... Um, I have Interceptor. You can go on so, ahead and do that right now. Yeah, so uh, once per turn you can make an attack with a melee weapon against an enemy in your reach that willingly either starts to... willingly starts to move out of your reach. Mm -hmm. Does not require action. So to do that, I would just do another melee attack with a d20. Yep. Or a brawn. Oh, well, yeah. A brawn. A brawn? Yes, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Great. That is a four. So never mind. <laughs> now, if you wanted to, you could spend luck to reroll that. Um, but that's, I, I was just kind of doing some reminders because luck is... I know a, a newer mechanic. Yeah, let's here. do it. Let's do it. I'm going to use one of my luck on this duck and reroll. Ah. And that is a nat 20. Hey, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it was very lucky. Well, pop, as this one is like, fall back, Brent, fall back. You're able to like land a blow on it. Go on ahead, and it's the D6 plus your might. D6 plus my might. So that's a three plus six is nine. Uh, <laughs> fall back, fall back, and crunch. <laughs> crunch. More and... like fall quack. <laughs> <laughs> and the others are trying to get away. Dude, I regret you... nothing. The dad jokes are real. <laughs> uh now with that boris this one is attempting to move away from you because of the retreat call yep um so I, that's i don't open. know if i can do anything with that can i um so the the intercept thing is now it's like system wide okay um interceptor still has some additional bonuses to it but that's getting a slight tweak but uh, you can, it's basically the same as taking an opportunity to attack in 5e, but Understood. it triggers on ranged and cast actions. I like it. So I will, um, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to hit him with my shield or attempt to. Um, and 
what does it do to his movement if I shove him prone to the ground as he's trying to retreat? What does that do to his movement he's, speeds? He's going to have to spend half of his speed to get back up. Understood. So that's the that's the thing to uh, that's the thing to do. Uh, so rolling against an eight, uh, that's a four. I I, I whiff. So it's oh, tries to get away from you. He is a to... nimble quacker. <laughs> And with that, that is their go. So they are currently trying to retreat from you all. Um, so you all's you all's decision as to what you want to make of that. But it is mm. your turn. I uh yeah. bye. I, I... Go ahead. She's just okay. saying bye. <laughs> okay. So should we um go after them or should we deal with that thing? And Lucy points to the <laughs> Lucette already has her crossbow aimed. Do I shoot her? No. I, I mean, I'm not opposed to it. Give her. They tried to hurt us. I mean, what what's the worst that could happen? Um, well, death. But, um, oh, here. You know what? Let's try this. Um, Effie, do you still want to blink? Yeah. I'd like to use my turn to cast Blink on Effie. Okay. How <laughs> um, long does Blink last for? Is that they can blink as their movement? It's Perfect. minimum minimum one round unless you focus on it. Okay. I'll focus so on it. So then it becomes as long as you want to focus on it. I am now focusing on you. Um, okay. Let me do my roll. Effie's trying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 19. Yeah, you can, you can blink now. Uh, so Lucy will just say, just put a hand on your shoulder and say, Okay, you're going to feel a slight tingling. Uh, no, no, it doesn't take a, it's very quick. Um, you're going to feel a slight tingling, and then uh, you will be able to move to a specified distance, um, roughly about the same that you'd run in combat. So, my good luck with that. Tingle, tingle, tingle. Um, and <laughs> as some, <laughs> some blue sparks fly from her fingertips into your shoulder, Effie, um, you gain the ability to blink uh, up to your speed. So you could just tell where, should, where yeah, should I go? So it's you can it, basically anywhere that you can see, as long as you can like, if you can see it, you can get to it. So enemies don't obstruct you. You can just literally teleport to the other side of them. Oh, so it's not restrained by your movement distance. It's you. You're still using your speed. Oh, so it's movement, you, not an action. Correct. Yes. So, oh. yeah. So you can teleport wherever you can see, but it's using your speed to do it. So, okay. Got you. So then you can't like move again in order to gotcha. No. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah, uh, using a, a, an example, it's like a misty step equivalent sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It's like it, this is actually yeah. series movement from The Witcher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like she's actually walking in another plane whenever that's going on. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you yeah. could so you could end up behind this large statue thing that I think we're moving towards now. Right? This is the this is the the duty uh the duty statue. The the duty statue. The duty ball. guy with the great with the big, duty poo. <laughs> with the big that, red thing is? on his head? Yeah. yeah. Oh, um so that that's a big statue of a guy holding a sword that has a giant like gym at the very oh. very top. Oh, I like, thought it was representing is, the Great Mighty Pooh ball. Yeah. Oh no, no that I, thing's, that's I think that's rolling around. That's us. just rolling around the temple. Just, yeah. Okay. How big is it? <laughs> is it like Pooh ball it's, next? It's a giant, like ten foot ball of like think of it like a tumbleweed of swords and just poop and feathers. That's just, I hate that. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so really glad we got some we poop katamari here. Yeah, got it. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. so this is not an attacker. This is just no. A that's just like a statue. Yeah, it's just like a piece of the scenery right now. Well, right now Lucette seems to want to end these fools. I mean, right now it, it can, that can always change. Jared, <laughs> it, you it, that can always change. I hate it when you do this. Uh, <laughs> well, there's a door behind that thing. It seems stationary. I don't know. You could try and shoot it. See what happens. Can you shoot the gem on its head? It would look really pretty in a crown on my head. Do I shoot the gem or the duck? Goblin. 
There's a duck call. Oh, no, we're I think we're letting them go. Oh, Aww. we are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. I mean, we My... could always go after them later. At least, oh. you know, make it a little interesting. Let them get a head start. We ran through their friends um pretty quickly. We do do I could step in I could blink in front of them and clothesline them. You could. <laughs> you could. Are we feeling after extra murdery later. today? Is that what's going on? Do we need to sit mm. down and talk about it? They threw poo at my shield, and I don't appreciate that. Enough said. I shoot number five. Okay. <laughs> Bunny loins of steel spring into action, and you see, oh. uh, as the arrow is flying, you just see a bunny, like, kind of keeping tandem. I'm going to try and jump uh, and engage with enemy number two as she shoots number five. Absolutely. Um, Effie, I guess you could go and flank and blink over there. <laughs> okay. Effie's going to blink okay. ahead of the ducks and just like do her best to close line them. Okay. I like it. So which uh, position would you like to be in? This one more to the north or the one down here? Uh, I think more to the south and have her arm out in front okay. of them to like so like here yeah okay cool 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 all right so we had a we had a sequence of things kind of going on so lucette i know you popped off the shot how, how, what mm. was that uh that ranged attack hit um i can use my luck to make it favored correct i'm gonna do that okay um and that's another nat 20. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So this bolt just goes sailing. So that will be fourteen. Okay. <laughs> a little, a little extra, but uh, it, it's spicy. It, it, it spicy. definitely. <laughs> yeah, uh, Boris. By the time that you're like ready up on it and your yep. fastest charge. This yep. thing is already falling down to the ground with a, a bolt just buried into its noggin. I love it. That's perfect. <laughs> it's exactly what I want to hear. Um, uh, seeing that the, I'm like, oh, like duck blocked, and I'll I'll turn slightly to the right mm -hmm. and be like, well, I guess I'm not uh, not dancing with that one now. I look down at enemy number two and I narrow my bunny eyes and I'm like, I will show you how to blink. And I, I bring my shield down on it and try and shove it to the ground. <laughs> okay. Um, that is a seven, unfortunately, versus an eight. So a miss. So it's kind of in the chaos as you try to turn around. You're not able to quite find purchase on the duck with the shield uh, and Effie. So you're kind of getting ready here. I would say that this would be you're, you're sort of holding for them to keep like trying to run past you to, before you're going to make that attack. So I think we can probably just call it that if that sounds good for you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Because they are definitely you're... trying to run. Um, and you can hear them both just going like, protect the harbinger, protect the harbinger. Um, I forgot actually. We needed to roll this last time. I needed Effie and Lucette to make a uh to roll me a d4. Oh, oh right. yeah. What? Uh. Four. Four. Three. Uh your ears are still just Dang it. ringing louder than they ever have in your whole life. Um and as these two are trying to run down um effie you can go on ahead and make that attack if you would like yeah am i rolling against brawn correct yeah okay that's an 18 so that is a hit mm -hmm. am i also able to as they're yes. going past yep yep i'll do number two since effie's doing number four we've got, got enough number two <laughs> that's a 17 to hit sorry <laughs> that's yeah. yeah. no, fine that's a good one <laughs> your your damage Effie uh, I got a 5 I also got a 5 beautiful 5 to each of them 
Uh, I would like for you both to paint me a picture. <laughs> As uh, they're both running down this hallway, um, and you both simultaneously... I, I have an idea. Bo Boris takes I... the shield and is just, like, pushing them slowly together into the bear hug. And it's like pushing an orange into a juicer. <laughs> Abby is like has her arm out like she was literally just going to like clothesline them as they were running and like she's just like oh all right this works too I just like we could just squish them hello for the ducks so the for later reducing so, these ducks um, almost almost like making duck sausage uh it's just pulp that seems to on the other side of Boris's shield um, as these things are just mulsified against this giant barn door. Um, <laughs> you all hear the last final like as everything goes quiet. I like it. He was, he was between a quack and a hard place. You two having fun down there? Everything going all right? Yes, Miss Lucy, we got them. <sighs> we ruffled their feathers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm lucky. here what? for it. You're lucky what? you're not horrible. Your puns are horrible. <laughs> what? I can't. I what? can't. Ever since that quack happened, it's just been ringing. <laughs> so, uh, above board, mm -hmm. D4s are to shake off um, yeah. continual effects. Yeah, so that's a countdown die for like uh, effects that fade over time. Mm -hmm. um, if it rolls a one, then that die ends and the effect is over. Cool. So this is like uh, cases like you're on fire. Well, you're going to keep burning until that die either expends itself or you douse the flames. Um, same thing with things like poison or uh, other effects. It's kind of a way to like do uh, some effects in spells like burning without needing to focus so much on the burning all the time and everything. But. Makes sense. I like it. Uh, um, and I'm just double checking as far as time goes. What were you thinking for duration of this stream? So normally we'll do um, uh, from six until like nine fifteen, nine thirty. Okay. Uh, and we'll take normally we take a break about twelve minutes ago, but I wanted to wrap the oh. combat. Yeah, totally. So, um, why don't we uh, why don't we take a quick uh, break and stretch your legs? Um, call it. Do you guys want five minutes? Do you want ten minutes? What's comfy? Five I can do good. 10 so I can let the dogs out. Sure. If that's fine. Or 10 seven. minutes. Dogs out. Ooh. S seven Ooh. minutes sounds great. Let's, why don't we get back together at 20 after? All right. Beautiful. We'll, uh, we'll see you folks in just a little bit. See you soon.
I don't know if back. I can do. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. No, no. We were talking coffee. <laughs> we were talking coffee. Feel free. Complete your thought. I haven't had enough coffee. That's the problem. That's I, I still have hot coffee from this morning that I've been sipping at most of the game. And <laughs> and for the people that are fortunate enough to live in Canada and not in the States, lavender beer. It, so is, it is so good. Hmm. Do we okay. not have that? Mm -mm. Not that not that brand. It's it's oh, okay. a craft beer out of BC. Yeah. But beer's a thing. Googled. Uh, at huh. some point, I'll and I'll I'll offer this up. Uh, if any of you guys want to jump onto our season of roll for beer and sit and roll for for interesting beers and talk about TTRPG <laughs> stuff, you guys are more than welcome to come on the podcast. That's I would fun. love That's to. Awesome. That sounds like fun. Excellent. I'm I'm planning out a bunch of guests for our next season, so I hold. Hell it yeah. Ever roll for cider. Uh, we have done. Uh, we have not done a roll for cider yet, but I'm down. We've done roll for whiskeys, and that oh, was. Oh gosh. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll sign up for that one. It was a. It was an hour longer than it was supposed to be, and nobody cared. It was great. I'm down for that one too. <laughs> that checks. Um, that checks out. Yeah. Just don't maybe do you roll for Jägermeister. Yeah. <laughs> we do that at Gen Con. <laughs> no, I'm, thank I'm you, coming Jared. to Gen no, Con. Thank you. Well, you, oh, I feel like you do Gen. I'm going Gen, to be there. Gen Con. Either oh, uh, yeah. for uh, Make a Wish or on my own, one way or the other. I'm I'm gonna come and hang out. Cool. I'm excited. To, I'm excited to see you in person. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> I'll try on a wig for the first time. I'll find <laughs> Hell a wig. Yeah. Please tell me it's the Lucy wig. No. Look, no we, we, already established, me. Oh, we, we were talking about this before you, you jumped in, Taryn. My hair used to look like uh, what Sarah's wearing. Oh, hell yeah. Before uh, college. Well, before the end of college when my hair was like look bud we're gonna make you more afraid of the sun than you already are <laughs> as a ginger but shall we let's do it sure do so this. you all uh <laughs> after entering here have now uh crushed the small little duck militia yep um and currently things seem rather quiet um off in the distance you can hear well, let me see if my soundboard will do this is this gonna work hello oh that's not the right one <laughs> and never mind uh <laughs> i thought that was gonna be an echo but uh not like that you guys just hear like off in the far distance um a bunch of like which is way further off than um the I, sound of these ducks from earlier i i tuned the bunny ears and like the rabbit antenna like the top of a TV. Uh, do they, does that muffling sound like it's coming from uh, to the west of us over here? Yes. Or does it sound like it's coming from, okay. And I'm, I'm just going to leave it on the uh, round table unless we're in a co combat or anything like that for the overlays and stuff. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're all much bigger this way and the audience can mm -hmm. actually see your beautiful smiling faces. But, um, a real full sized human, I swear. I am not <laughs> three too. three rabbits in a trench coat. I actually have legs. <laughs> yeah, see, whenever I have the camera right here, like angled down this way, and then whenever I was meeting people at Gen Con, they were like, "Wait, you're 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 six two? <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> you so tall?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, so um, L Effie and Boris can definitely see. There's a door right here to the south of you guys. But Boris, you could hear there's quacking kind of coming off from further on down this hallway. There are more people down that way, and we got the door here. Um, it thinks it's locked, but I promise it's not. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I, I turn my back to it and raise a thick bunny leg and just lay a boot into whatever door latch there is. I don't care if it's unlocked or not. I'm still kicking it with my rabbit legs. Okay. <laughs> Oh, all yeah. right, yes, that's um, doors. Yes, that's delightful. Did you know that there's one over this way, too? And Lucy is walking around the statue. I believe you. Boom. Yeah, you you kick it, Boris. Um, I'm going to need you to make a brawn check. Of course. Uh, let's see. My, so my brawn is eight. Uh, that's a 16. Okay, the door flies open and you're hit with this overwhelming stench as you just see a room that seems to be caked with poo 
Found their poop uh, in the room. <laughs> um, and it looks like some sort of a makeshift latrine. Um, and you can see in this 30-foot square room, it seems to serve as a drug latrine. Feathers are kicked to the floors and masses of unidentifiable viscous fluids. I played out of... chicken coops. I know what this is about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A pile of swords has been carefully corralled into one corner. One wall is poorly bricked up with stones and mud, obviously hiding a passage on the western wall. Brown paint spells out don't on the wall. Uh, I look I look at Effie and I say, the sign says don't. Effie picks up whatever is left of the ducks around them and just kind of chucks it in the room that says don't. Okay. <laughs> I like looks it. Like, looks like that that's where that goes. So you're just they're not ducks the... anymore. Now they're don'ts. They go over there. I, I begin <laughs> yeah. helping. Okay. I don't we're not going in that smelly room. <laughs> so you guys just start piling these ducks up over here. Let's we'll say that's your sort of scene activity here. Um, Lucy and Lucette, what are you all doing? Uh, Lucy, is, what? is your door, yes. is your, you is just your hear door the, open? You just hear a doorknob shaking. <laughs> Lucy's trying to get in. <laughs> it <laughs> seems, it doesn't seem to move. Um, it's a pretty big stone door, about 10 feet wide, um, that opens up from the center and would go. Um, but as you're, Trying to do everything you can to mess with this one, it doesn't. Nothing seems to get it to budge. Hmm. This one's over to you, telling me no, and I don't like that. Can you cook, kick this one in too? Make it okay. say yes. We're uh, we're just chucking dead ducks into the don't room that's attached to the pooper. I'm sorry, the what room? You heard me. <laughs> I don't want to know. I just want to get behind this door. So Did you still want me to shoot the red, the red thing, the red gem? Am I oh, still yes. shooting? Yes, the gem. And uh, Lucy will step back a little bit to look up the statue with you. Yes, do you think you can hit it without damaging it? Without damaging it? Well, Too bad. I mean, at least leave enough for a jeweler to work with. Um, is it like held or is it like embedded in the statue? Um, so this is this statue is like 30 feet tall. Um, it's a stonework statue, and you can tell up at the top something. I mean, it seems to be sitting up like in the head of this statue. Um, but it's a this is a massive looking gem. Um, at, at least like holding it with two hands, uh, probably about like the size of uh, a real world like football. Um, point of clarity is lucy mm -hmm. still concentrating their blink ability mm -hmm. on effie yes uh, my next suggestion was going to be to have effie blink up there ah okay effie do you want uppies <laughs> what blink do you want uppies there's a big large gem up there and i would like it would you like to know what it's like to be extra tall i'm not sure if effie can hear you <laughs> Oh, that's right! Oh, by this time, that deafness would have subsided. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uppies! Uppies! No, you need to do your own uppies, dear. You can blink. Remember? I can, like before. I'm, okay. I feel like Effie should be closer to you. <laughs> I don't know if you can <laughs> blink that high. There's just a disembodied she voice from Lucy over. that's coming down yeah. the hallway towards you. Yeah. <laughs> Effie walks over to Lucy and is like, "Uppies, up there." I think, I think that's my cousin. Oh, well, can you ask him to just give me the gem as a present? I'll try. I mean, okay. Effie stands in front of him. Hello, are you? He knocks on him. She's like, "No, I don't know this guy." <laughs> He's ripe for the robbing this then. So Horace is holding his blink, nose from the poop. <laughs> to blink, she just blinks up there. Yeah. Yeah, you can it's just a, blink. It's a, 
it, it's sort of like you you sort of like look at this position and with your thought of like i need to be there like i want to do the thing you can just like mentally will yourself to like do that is you there just, like a is there like a physical thing that effie does to be like i'm blinking now like you like you know how oh, she's have like, like a, i'm pooping now face yeah. like oh yeah, there like yeah a, she, she makes very the, like obviously like the stone slits <laughs> She yeah. makes the slits. <laughs> I don't like that those came back up. <laughs> as the as the eye hole slits close, suddenly one of these God. times, as you open them back up, you're just suddenly up on top of the statue. You're She's doing great, much... darling. Keep it up. She's landed in like a traditional like Grecian pose, like on top of it, and like very like athletic looking she's like a piece <laughs> now what oh this the gem can you take the gem okay yeah. so she's going to look at the gem and be like i had it maybe miss lucette um you are um contraption minded mm -hmm. um does this seem like the kind of thing that will you know, explode or uh, cause the statue to come to life and stab us to death or like that kind of thing. Like you do this for a living. Uh, you make a very solid point. Uh, yes, this does seem exactly like some kind of trap. However, I can look and see if there's like any kind of uh, mechanism with it. I'm going to start just like pacing the statue and okay. be like, uh, Effie, hold on just one moment. We don't want you to explode. And uh, just kind of examine it and see, okay. does it look like there's any kind of mechanism to it? So you would be trap making, it'll set off. Yeah, so this would be what's called an open examine test. Um, you're just going to roll the d20, making examine checks until you fail. And the number of successes you get determines the outcome. Oh, spicy. Okay. So examine? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I immediately failed. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I mean, as you're sort of looking around, you don't necessarily see much of anything. Uh, you see this big pile of swords. The thing that kind of stands out to you is like, you could swear two of the swords in this pile are glowing. Um, but you don't really see anything clockwork wise or uh, any sort of magical glyphs or anything around it um, just seems like an ordinary statue oh. it seems pretty normal there's glowy swords Ooh, but that's about swords. all I notice Question. where are they they are uh, you know, I'll click this right here and laid out in front of it yeah. is is detect basically using your eyes, ears, nose, your five yeah. senses? And Examine and... is like a more dedicated search. Okay. Um, Boris is it's hanging back. Um, can I roll detect and look at like, I want to look at the sand around this thing from say uh, a, a good hoppy distance, just like hopping up in the air. I want to see if this thing's moved from its spot at any point okay like um yeah i mean you know it's like loose sand uh something would definitely be leaving a trail because there's plenty of like duck yeah. you know footprints and you can even see the like rolling uh sphere has left an indentation that seems to get somewhat paved over yeah um but and insofar as like something the size of this statue it doesn't appear to have moved from this location it at least not while like the sand can is walk. Here. So maybe we're okay. Maybe. Uh, I'm going to look down and uh, check out those swords. Is there anything I can do to identify whether or not those glowing swords are magical? Um, yeah, you can make me uh, another open arcana test if you would like. I would love to. That's an 11 and my arcana is an 8. Okay. Uh, can you make me another one? That's a seven. Okay. Um, there is definitely a 
there, there there's definitely a, a sense of um how, how do you really describe this um uh, of magic that feels incomplete like the character of it seems to be sort of uh feeling like something is missing <laughs> hmm Well, whatever magic these are um, humming with, it seems to be incomplete. Maybe if I just... I'm going to pick up both of them. Mm -hmm. um, they, unlike other swords that you've, you've seen, which Lucy, I'm sure, is very, very familiar um, as her signature weapon, um, these are odd it it it's like you pick one up and you can see the blade seems to have like interlocking hooks and like slits and holes um that almost seem to be designed to be like fitted into something else and the other glowing sword does as well um and they both seem to have them in different positions um and the other thing that stands out to you is there are um it, what looks to be some sort of letters etched into each of the swords. Hmm. Cool key blades, bro. Oh, maybe they are a key of some sort. Lucette, do you recognize anything that's on these? Me? Yes. If they unlock something, you're the expert unlocker. Oh. See, normally Boris just breaks things down. Uh, okay. Boris looks at his right um, foot and is like, over. don't take it personally, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> My right foot is called key. <laughs> yeah, what do I need to do? Uh, I, I, you're talking about just like looking these. Uh, it, I wasn't really quite sure what the ask was there. Oh, just to see if um, Lucette knows of any like... Um, like in spot like a mechanism or something because they appear to fit into something or fit together somehow so if it's some sort of puzzle or key to a device just trying to narrow down what we're looking at um sure 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 sure. uh go on ahead and do another one of those open examine tests let me just see here real quick okay who's doing okay. it um i guess lucette since she was the one kind of checking the swords out for like some sort of mechanism i guess Okay. If if we look at all of our facts, I mean, there's a lot to poop around, and the swords. I mean, maybe the swords go in the shoot. The poop shoot. I wasn't going to say it because I have manners, madam. <laughs> You've already <But, laughs> several times. I think manners have gone out the window in this case. It is very disgusting already, in here. There's already swords in the poop shoot room. That oh. is true. They hid a bunch of swords where they poop. Uh, That's very strange. Uh, would Effie and I have known if they were, or noticed if they were glowing at all? Like these ones are? Any of the swords in that room? Yeah. Um, you guys were just sort of like pushing Lobbing corpses bodies. in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, I, the reason I ask is that room wasn't necessarily lit. And if there was something that's like giving off light or anything like that, maybe it would have stood up. There was something kind of odd um, amongst the pile. Uh, it seemed like there was something kind of faintly glowing um, kind of in some of the brickwork. Okay. I, uh, th there's in the pooper room, uh, there was uh, some of the similar glowy bits. Like I'm not, a, I don't do the wizardy, like the mind blowing ups like Miss Lucy does. But um, yeah, no, if you, maybe they go over there. Again, I don't, know. I don't blow look. anything up. You light one trash can on fire accidentally, and suddenly you blow everything up. There is nothing that you can say that will convince Boris that you don't like you don't have the ability to just fireball everything in your general vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it was he, literally just a grease fire in the kitchen one time. <laughs> I, I know how wizards work. Last time I ever make you bacon. There is a reason that he treads lightly, and he he fears for his life. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lucette, what was the uh, result of that test? Um, so the first two succeeded, the third one failed. Okay. Um, so yeah, even from like just sort of manipulating these, um, 
you're you're almost seeming to like kind of want to form a sword. You put the two pieces together, um, and it kind of clicks for you. The etchings in the sword are II and IX, and they they seem to kind of sync up and click into each other in like a particular position that you got them held in. You made scissors. <laughs> <laughs> IX. I just kind of show. Huh? <laughs> oh. Huh? Should well. I use them to get the jewel out? Like, chop, chop, chop. Oh, oh like it's magic not like tongs? Yeah, it, it's not like scissors oh, yeah. like that. It's literally like you're putting a puzzle piece together to make one sword. Oh, oh gotcha. Oh, cool. well, um, click them together and see what happens. I'm just going to take a step back, just in case. I will take a step forward, Should I get just down? in case. Oh, um, if you want, dear, you can always just blink right back up if you want to blink on down. Is there... Is there anything I could see from up here before I get down that's worth noting? Um, big pile of swords that they're sort of looking at. Uh, this nice, pretty gym. Um, uh, I mean, worth noting is a little bit okay. subjective, I guess. Uh, are there any <laughs> places where a sword would go that I can see from where I am. Um, you don't see anything yeah, that looks like a, a slot or um, a, you don't seem to see slit. any kind of an opening that, yeah, another slit. Um, <laughs> you, you don't seem to see anything that No sword looks, slit? No sword not slit. like a keyhole or a key slit, I guess we'll say, um, of any kind, really. Um, um, and what are the hands of the statue doing? Uh, one of them is holding a sword and the other one is like uh doing a sort of like come at me bro pose like this yeah i like it okay um no if he's just gonna sit on his shoulders like a kid on their dad's shoulders i like just it. kind of vaguely picking at the uh the jewel. Oh, I mean, it's loose. Oh, well, she's just gonna pick it up then. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <I like> it. <laughs> it it comes up um roughly about the weight of like a a big jug of water. Um, okay. it comes up in your hands. Uppies, who wants this? Ooh, I do. Can you catch it? No. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Let me check my strength. One moment, please. Have I done any squats? You know today? what? My might is five. I can probably do it. Okay, good luck. She just chucks it. <laughs> and, it and Lucy, you're able to get it. And it's it's huge. Um, oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm going to make something very nice out of this. Uh, Effie stays up on the shoulders and just now starts probing the jewel. <laughs> the, the, slit. The, the head hole? No. <laughs> yeah, just just like... <laughs> yeah, the statue goes, ow, stop doing that. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Wait, are we related? Like, do I know you? Oh, no. my brain. Yeah? <laughs> Papa? You oh, left for Sarah. Father, you never came you back. You, do no. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these two together now. I know Curiosity killed the cat, but I'm a duck bread now. So, okay. And I'm going to put it together. Okay. They, like, click together. And... Oh seem to remain put together. How very mm -hmm. clouds thrive of you. Because all I honestly, I, uh, I expected expected something else to happen. I'd gain like superpowers first. But, Maybe uh, you need more swords and you need like 27 swords that all go Yes, yeah, so it was a rather um, anticlimactic moment, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, 
I'm doing the best I can, okay? <laughs> here. Maybe, maybe we go get no, the source. Here. You know, and no, I have this for you. Um uh here, can you can you do it again? Or just pretend to do it again? Um uh, yeah, okay. Uh I pretend to put it back together again. <laughs> I'm gonna go right behind you and just take some like shredded paper out of my pockets and just <laughs> throw it into the air behind you like confetti. Ta -da! <gasps> Effie's very excited. Well, I just feel that was felt kind of a little condescending. You didn't even add sparkles <laughs> or anything. I can't, I can't do that sort of thing. You I have told you all multiple we've times. We've been over this. She makes things explode. She doesn't do carry not glitter make things explode. while adventuring. That was one accident in the kitchen. We don't carry glitter while adventuring. We learned this last time. It's not good. To be fair, that was all your fault. It doesn't matter. That poor halfling <laughs> village. <laughs> They were people. so pretty. They were so pretty. At the they end. were. But they the were. grandchildren will still sparkle. Though. Yeah. yeah I hear they put on forever. Those now. Why don't we go in the poop room and uh, we'll get you some more swords to click together in different shapes and uh, amalgamations. That, that village <clears throat> smelled better. It did. It did. And as you all are kind of having this conversation, you hear this like, Somebody's hungry. Did you stir the statue's brains too much? Are you hungry? She's like, tries to like. Does this one have a brain? way to look? At I don't place. think it's sentient. Hmm. No. You'll never know. Is the sound uh, coming from that door? Maybe. Maybe. Well, I hope it wishes on a star, and then it'll become sentient. That's the other way to do it. We need to get you better books. Yes, let's do that. You'll hear splashing. And Spl it's like... <laughs> <laughs> as this sort of... Um, almost what looks like an iron... Uh, sort of like the shape of a bear um, is slowly lumbering. <laughs> from the uh, flood inside of the chamber. It's quite and it's Zulu. Like... <laughs> oh. Oh, no. A new friend. Oh, no. It is labeled enemy. That isn't friendly. <laughs> oh, no. It's adorable. Oh. Do we have to kill this one? <laughs> I want to give it a hug. I'd like to as well, honestly. I didn't it, even it know there was like a hallway over there. It, it looks like a, almost like an armor-plated bear. Um, and as it's like, uh, its head comes up, it's like chewing on bits and pieces of swords. Ooh. Oh, buddy. No, it's put it down. It's not <sighs> food. Not food. Well, down. no, no. If, if it's made of metal, it might be. Uh, Effie <laughs> it would like to blink to the bear and give it a hug. I like it. <laughs> can, she, can she blink to be directly above the bear? Uh, yeah. Give it a hug? Okay. Yeah. That's what she would like to do. Okay. Just a so bear hug. You uh, go up and hug this thing. Um, and it like... <clears throat> Oh He's dear, like, you're I'm wearing it. Like, Hi. Hi. Hi, friend. Snuggly bear. And it Hi. Tries to take a Do you know about the ball? The ball? <laughs> um, <laughs> as it tries to take a swipe at you, I'm going to need you to make either a dodge or a uh, parry check. I guess I will do parry because that's been doing better. <laughs> It is attacking our friends. I well, to be fair, it was just a wild animal. It is wild animal. Self defense. Yes. Um. Uh, that was an eleven. So, Perry is brawn. Mm hmm. So yeah, she she parries. So you knock the uh, you're able to knock yourself kind of over towards safety, um, <laughs> of this bear. And uh, as it, <laughs> you can see, its face just seems to be like uh, 
almost like rock and crystal with like bits and pieces of iron kind of like molded within and it's where its eyes should be is like glowing almost looks like forge light um in both of its sockets that seem to be recessed into the head and it's like, uh, 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 uh. And it, i would like to take out a dagger <gasps> I'm going to slowly. I love him. I'm I'm going to slowly and carefully walk forward and offer the blade of the dagger to the bear and just say, "Here, buddy, are the, you looking for a snack?" The duck boys did say that the forge was awake, and it's oh, got the glow. This is the forge, <sighs> and Lucy's it's got gonna, the glow. Lucy's going to slowly approach, um, offering it some metal. It's a very finely crafted dagger. Boris yeah, is healing. Have a treat. It comes up and it like that's a good boy. Come here. It Come sticks here. out in this like molten hot tongue that you can feel it just <gasps> it almost seems to burn on your hand as you've got this dagger held out there and it <gasps> takes it oh. into its mouth and chews. You can see there's like molten metal kind of pouring out of its mouth. Oh, he's just hungry. <laughs> he's come not here. eating any of my daggers. Oh, don't worry, dear. Uh, come here. He's come here. So come here. Follow this way. Follow the and Lucy's just going to take, like, uh, we'll take out another uh, a slightly cheaper dagger and just kind of dangle it and lead it over carrot like to the pile of swords that we were just inspecting. <laughs> yeah, you, you lead it and it, it follows just sort of like. Almost as if you're holding like a stake in front of it, and it's just like oh. it goes up to the pile, and it it just starts kind of munching down on the blades. Effie wants to look around for the traveling sword shit ball. <laughs> we need to get and, him for snacks. <laughs> and like, if she can. How big is it? Is it like the bear? Ten feet? No, the ball. Oh, the ball is like ten feet. Of sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's like a. It, this is a big. I would say at least car sized. Uh, ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> could could she, if it comes n near her, could she redirect it towards the water to wash off some of the shit? <laughs> um. To then offer to the bear. Role playing I, games, folks. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna give you the most DM you can certainly try that I possibly can. There. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna okay. say. To be fair, there are swords in the poop room. There are. There are swords. Go there's safer swords swords. outside. Yeah, if you want to get some swords. safer swords. Um, but it just seems like you know, like Lucy's already problems. working on names. <laughs> I like it. Peanuts yeah, sniffing yeah. the bear's butt. It's it's deciding to adopt the bear too. Yeah, Effie is walking along beside the bear, like patting its back, like oh, I think you're so pretty, and I would like to be your friend. And I think you're made of stuff like I'm made of stuff, and I would like to be your very best friend. His very best friend. Oh my! His goodness. very best friend. We are all made of star stuff. It, it is true. Set is steering clear of it. That ready, is smart. Ready, ready to draw our crossbow, but staying as far away from it as possible. <laughs> um, okay. Question. Mm -hmm. This thing seems magically augmented. Um, what kind of a knowledge check or like a skill check would it be to determine did these things just are there just forge bears kicking around in the wild? Is this a unique sort of like creature contraption sort of thing? You've uh, never seen any this before. Okay. Um, so no, no glowy sun bears, according to yeah, chat. It, it's yeah. it, we're we're in a fairly like standard MO fantasy world, and something mm -hmm. like this would be a quite odd. Yeah. Okay. This, this yeah. isn't like a usual thing. Is there anything that I may have read about in mystical arcane texts? <laughs> um, you know constructs. of like primordials and constructs that could become animated by some force. 
um it's kind of atypical for like an artificial being to kind of get a taste for metal like this so if something makes you think that this is a living creature of sorts um maybe some type of a primordial but it doesn't seem malevolent at all it just seems like kind of dumb it seems um, kind of hungry and cute yeah i mean i don't think it's a construct or anything i think it's just its own thing yeah do, do you want me to, to go take the swords from the other drugs over there and we can maybe feed them a little bit well if we want to take him with us we'll need to lure him with some food yeah i'll i'll go collect up the the bits and bobs that the uh fallen foes had kicking around in case bear needs a snack sure yeah and look look if you can find in there a blue coat that has toggles on the front and maybe a red bucket hat that's oddly specific for like a poop room um <laughs> search but i'll i'll try and yeah boris is just gonna like walk over to the other ducks take their stuff and grab some stuff from the poop room if time yeah. isn't of a uh, of a factor um you do hear the familiar sound of maybe swords grinding up against parts of walls um but inside also the poop room rotating uh coming further from down the hallway that you were walking towards oh i see hmm. and there's some um concerning noises over here folks just just a heads up and i totally just walked down into this other room okay oh yeah um, and hmm. boris you feel a, like poof, a, all of you actually feel the ground sort of like trimmer for a second as there we go further on down that hallway you do see this ball is you want to shift see that the for the audience can it not wait can you all not see that shift well, Z? no no if you select the token and shift z it'll blow up the art for the audience to see full screen oh that <laughs> there it is <laughs> um oh, so no, that's scary it's it's just this mass of the swords poo and feathers and stuff um this is like the only ball i could find that was decently okay. <laughs> yeah um and as it rolls past the room that you're in boris um you all can see it currently kind of rolling down the pathway uh towards the big iron bear okay <laughs> oh it's like... well we have to protect him it's a toy is it i don't know he could play he could be like bah, 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 bah. It's a ball of sword shit. <laughs> dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. A ball of shit. The only kind well, of ball that you really want to dodge. Bears <laughs> I don't. Does he see? Does the bear seem concerned about this? He was sort of chewing on swords right now. Um, I could give you all an action to <laughs> to see what we would want to do here. I think if the bear doesn't seem too concerned about it, Lucy's just going to take some steps back and okay. see what happens to see how the bear reacts. Because, I mean, it might be just the bear's toy, friend. I don't know. This is a really weird place, and there's a lot of people <laughs> involved, and happening. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to step back. There's just fluids present. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know what's in that flooded side of the cave. Yeah. Boris is just going to check out the uh, the glowing bits of the wall and maybe the swords that were in there that you alluded to earlier. Okay. Yeah. Don't, and he's going to. Oh, all right. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. You were. Yeah. She's just going to tap on the bear and be like, "Bear, there's a ball. Do you want the ball? Do you want the ball? Get the ball. Get the ball. <laughs> it's coming this way. It's yes, like... darling. Do you want the ball? Uh, uh, looks over and it sees the ball, and it just sort of stands there as the ball like hits it and seems to like not really be bothered by the bear in its path and it rolls over it and just kind of keeps continuing on down and the bear is still standing there once the ball passes through and it's just still chewing on some of these swords 
Oh, like unfazed. <laughs> yeah, it just it, it seems like the ball either like I I don't just didn't have an impact or just seemed to leave it did, alone. Did the ball also roll over Effie? Who I assumed Effie was back? like in safety. <laughs> like in the safe position. She's literally standing next to like the bear, like, hey, what are we doing here? What's going on with the ball? She is quite literally standing next to the bear. Oh, I mean, if it, if it was your choice, is the I mean, if you wanted to stay there with it and see what happened, she yes, Effie didn't. If the bear wasn't didn't have a problem with it, she kind of thought it was going to bounce off the bear, and it wouldn't be her problem. But it is is her problem now. Okay, okay. Indiana Jones blink much. <laughs> um I would I, I would I would give you that as a like uh if you want to make that last minute call of like waiting and seeing what happens, or if you do just want to stay here, you can totally just stay here, but you do have the blink on. Mm-hmm. <sighs> part of me wants to know what happens. But part of me also doesn't want to know what happens. I think you're in a shitty situation. <laughs> you're in a really <laughs> shitty situation. No. <laughs> you're either going to have allowed. a ball or it's going to be really shitty. Yeah. Talk about a crappy time. <laughs> either way, you're going to get the point. I, you know what? She's. I think she's just going to bear it and stay by her <laughs> new friend. <laughs> Okay. She wants the bear to know that she's really like, I'm with you, man. Like, whatever's going on, we're besties now. Um, <laughs> Aaron, were you expecting us to adopt adopt a forge bear? Um, well, I I just I I I didn't know really what this sequence of random encounters was gonna do, but that's why I, I kind of <laughs> love this like. <laughs> roll me okay um so I, as you are uh seeing this ball rolling at you and you're like it's okay bear it's gonna be okay um feeling like you're gonna endure it alongside with it um you, you feel out. you feel the weight of this collapsing down on you um i'm gonna need you to make me an endure check okay <laughs> And actually, this is going to be an endure test of two. Okay, so what is... You're going to uh, roll... Um, you're going to be making multiple mm -hmm. endure checks. Okay. And we stop the count at the first one that you fail at. Okay. How fast is that. this thing moving? Um, It's not exactly like cruising down, but it's like kind of like at a stroll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just imagining it just going really slowly and yeah. Effie just taking it. It's at a medium pace. Oh, that's five? Six. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, that makes it. So that's seven. Okay, I... we finally failed on eight rolls. I want you to tell me what you want out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I think part of it is that Effie is a statue. And so she can just stand in one place mm -hmm. really well. She's very good at just like, no matter what, like, and so she's just like, you know what, Bear, we're in it together. So she's kind of like, Maybe like knee, one knee in the sand, one elbow on the bear, and just kind of like, okay, I guess I thought that was going to bounce off you, but you know what? We're in this together. And I just kind of <laughs> imagine it like, does it roll over the bear? Like it just kind of goes. Yeah, it over. like, it, it seems to sort of like make a very uh, soft contact with it, but otherwise uh -huh. it's just sort of like, it almost seems like the bear sort uh -huh. of disappears into it for a second and then like is yeah, fine so, and left alone 
Yeah, I imagine that being kind of the same thing for Effie, except that she is now covered in shit. <laughs> and maybe a little burned. And like, but she's like, you know what? I made a choice. <laughs> Why <it>. not? <laughs> as as you have like Despair found, knows. As you have found secure footing and like foundation in here, um, as you're you you put trust that you've like extended into this bear that like surely everything knows it is going to be fine. Um, you feel a sort of like connection where the same effect of the ball sort of rolling over it, you feel a warmth within your arm as your body sort of fills with this primal energy and the ball rolls over you just seemingly phasing through it and it continues on down its path despite you now seeing a couple of feathers and what you hope is brown paint um sort of on your arm and on your body but otherwise you seem unfazed by it it's very warm and squishy like pudding i didn't need to know that it's just the one yeah, that like comparison. Porridge. Was anybody else like really porridge, concerned maybe. by the slooping oh, yeah. sound as it? I'm I'm actually yeah. trying to forget it. Yes. It yeah, was like, there was a slooping <sighs> sound. A hundred percent. Let's also delete. I think you stole my wallet. My no, no, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! Why are they oh, all like S words? Effie, you're doing know. pretty good. You've got slits and slooping and like swords. It's great. I heard Schlurm the other day, and I really love that one. <laughs> no, I hate everything about this conversation. I don't want that one incorporated. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, you all did, have seen I... Yeah, you all have seen this ball just sort of roll over Effie and the, the giant iron bear. Um, and it seems to have like now feasted on probably more than half of the swords that were in this pile. Hmm. Well, moving right along, and he like stretches his suspenders a little bit that he suddenly has. Um, yeah, so Boris, <laughs> you're over here in this room. What, what's been going on? What have you been doing? Uh, you'd uh mentioned that there was uh potentially some kind of glowy bit on the wall that we, had yeah, noticed. um, it w so there's this wall that seems to be bricked up over on the other side where it says don't. Yeah, and you can see there is a with all the darkness in here, there is a faint kind of uh, corpse-like green glow coming mm. from behind it, uh, similar to this right here. Yeah, that uh, is sort of emanating from the other side of this brick wall, um, and there's enough of a room that you could peer through it if you would want. Yeah, I'll go take a look with my okay. keen bunny senses. Um, uh, you can see. There is a, a body of a man that is pinned up to a wall with the sword uh, that is glowing, piercing through his heart. Cool. That is a fucking metal way to die. That's that's sick right there. Hey, guys, I found a cool magic sword pinning a body to a wall, and I think he's dead, and I'm going to break the wall down now. Uh, oh, okay. We dealt with a poo ball. Good on. <laughs> there's like a cool, sick, necromantic energy emanating from everything. It's pretty cool. That was too gestury. Necromancy. Yeah. And then I'm going to. Uh, what? How? How does uh, destructible environments work in Vagabond Terran? So um, it's basically like you can deal damage in the environment. Like if it's an object, like a structure or whatever. It's got health. Um, okay. It's, yeah. And they're, so, most objects are vulnerable to blunt damage. Wood objects are, you know. Yeah. So I have, uh, uh, I'm one of those inventory players from back in the day where mm -hmm. the adventuring kit matters. So he's got like a shovel and a crowbar and a rope and a tinderbox and a lantern and a bunch of other crap. Mm -hmm. um, you said that these bricks are kind of loose in there. Yeah, like not masoned up, like yeah. there's not like mortar or anything. Is it mortar? Is that right? Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's nothing really putting it together. It literally just looks like a really crappy cobblestone wall. Cool. 
Um, what would you suggest if that Boris would do here um, within the confines oh, Bor- of the world? Yeah, like, he can just run through it. I mean, like, he's a vanguard. <laughs> Boris absolutely runs a train on that wall. Okay. Like, like I wonder if Looney Tunes it. Yeah. He, B- Boris goes to the other side of the room, finds a suitably non poop smeared spot to mm-hmm. put his feet up against, and again, tightens up those springy rabbit thighs and just lets the thickness out and <laughs> smashes that shield right through that wall if possible. So you get yourself ready. I mean, you've battering rammed before. Like yeah. this is this is absolutely a thing you've trained. You know, I have and... a rampant charge ability that lets me charge and do a fuckload of damage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you rush at this wall, and you feel it make contact with your shield, and it's not even like this. It, it's not even like the same amount of give that like a wooden door would present. This thing just like crumbles underneath you. Mm -hmm. And as you like force your way through the other side of this, uh, I don't know. How well can you see in here? Probably not super well. Um, Um, I have, uh, uh, I can't be blinded by the dark and are aware of anything in the dark within 60 feet of me due to my sightless watcher Vanguard ability. Ah, okay. Um, Looking further on down in there, uh, in, like in the room that you're now in, mm-hmm. you see this body that is pinned up uh, to a wall by a sword that is sticking through its heart. And this sword is glowing. Cool. Is the body like a skeleton or a zombie or like a um, a duck or a human or uh, some human? manner of poop monster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, um... It's a human, um, looks to be about like a pale, shaggy haired prisoner, um, kind of like dressed in white. Um, you can see the area where his heart is pierced through, uh, that area, the white is stained with blood. Um, but otherwise it looks to just be sort of like a, uh, a really pale, pale looking human. Hmm. Well, he's probably pale because he lost all of his blood from being stabbed through the heart. That's what Boris is thinking. This is totally safe and not sketch in any way, shape, or form. And Boris says, hey, Miss Lucy, I found you a cool sword. And he grabs the hilt and pulls it out of the dude. <laughs> you hear this one like, who awakens the great Remy LeFou? <laughs> I think Lucy is just turning into the doorway to come see what you were talking about with necromancy <laughs> shit and just You hear oh. I found you were cool Remy LaFou I'm it, What? It's a talking sword Did you not I, I, I haven't turned around to look at the dude that's speaking <laughs> um, It's intelligent It's speaking to me Boris? Speak sword Mm. It's not the sword, Boris. I just emerged turn. from Lucy's shadow. <laughs> turn around, dear. Ah, shit, a zombie, and I stab him in the heart. <laughs> as as you're doing this, like, ah, shit, a zombie. You can already see this guy is coming in to bite you right now. Um, That is going to be... I'm going to need you to make me... Uh, Whichever defense check you would want to make, this is an attack that's being made against you, but this would be hindered. Okay. Um, I'll I'll try and like parry it. Okay. Just like ah, ghosts, and um, <laughs> uh, trying to beat an eight. That's a ten. Ooh. Um, you're able to get your shield in the way as this this creature's like fanged just he's a vampire uh this these things kind of retreat back into his mouth and he's like you dare awaken me and won't even let me have a little wake-up snack (laughs) who who are you who are you what are you doing miss lucy he's trying to be sexy and he's not doing a very good job of it can i stab him again i don't need to try oh dear oh darling he's one of those Uh, i'm so sorry you're a goner so, my vampiric friend, um, 
I hand you the sword as your. Oh, this. thank you. I love a good present. And he like rubs his hand on his chest. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yes, we did free you. How would you like to repay us? <laughs> um, well, I can certainly, um, not, uh, do anything to the people around here. That's a good start. In fact, I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, yeah, yes. And um, I could always do this too. And you see him like dissipate into like red fog and start moving through the room just sort of as a cloud kind of spilling out, trying to get out through the door next to Boris. Oh, actually, that is useful. Would you mind following me for a moment? Effie has come from where she was next to the bear and is like standing just outside the door. She's like, are we going to get these swords for this bear? And she's just like <laughs> on the red mist. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm choking on Remy. <laughs> um, so the, the mist doesn't really respond to you. All right, well, follow me this way. And Lucy's just going to walk through back to those doors that she couldn't open. <laughs> okay. Is the mist following me? No. <laughs> it, is, it is going out like here. Let me see if I can. Uh, it is starting to spill out into this room and going off towards the mouth of the cave. Oh, well, do we want to kill the vampire or do we want to do it later? I mean, it's up to you. You've got the sword that was keeping him dead. Well, now he's a red mist. I don't think I can stab into a red mist. And she's going to take the sword and just swing out at the mist. Okay. Why don't you just summon like a black hole and suck him into oblivion? That is not a thing that I can do. I <laughs> promise you that it is. You just need to have faith in your abilities. I have not faith in my, my abilities. I am not a sorcerer. I am a wizard. Okay, yeah, I'm a magus. They're way better I than sorcerers. They're I so learned... much more powerful than any sorcerer. I, I just, I, maybe throw the confetti at it again? <laughs> I mean, we don't have any glitter. We've canonically established that we used all the glitter last time. <laughs> Let's throw a sheet over it. They're... Oh, yeah. There's a sheet. I swing out at it with the sword that was stabbing it previously. <laughs> yeah, there, you, there, there is a connection you feel where it's not just dissipating like sh whatever. Um, you do feel like something make purchase, and it you, it, it just kind of feels though like hitting someone with a Nerf bat. Like there's a like, and it, 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 it almost felt hollow as you were doing that. Right in the meat slit. God damn it. <laughs> Stab him in his ghost slit. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna try and stab him in his ghost slit. As, as much as you That's keep trying... That's also hitting TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as much as you keep kind of swinging this blade, it always just sort of feels like almost punching in a dream. Um, the, the, the sword will like kind of move through the mist, but it almost feels like whenever it makes contact, it sort of moves around it rather than like through it. Um, and it, this mist still just is making its way towards the mouth of the cave. Hmm. I mean, it might just be getting away and it might just be. Uh, an evil that we've unleashed upon the world, and but at least you got the cool sword out of it. I did get a cool sword, didn't yeah. I? I would like to imbue my sword with haste. Okay. And then swing at it to do, add some sonic damage. Okay. I love it. Um, Feeling like it's not doing much, just recalling like your magus training, you infuse the sword and swing it. Go on ahead and make that attack check. 19. 
it Close. hits with this sickening kaboom, and by the time all the energy has dissipated, go on ahead and uh, roll the damage for me. Uh, let's see. Um, would this be? A, I'm using the sword that we took out of him. Would it be a short sword? I have. Uh, I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. It's like a straight short sword for the purposes of all this. Five plus five. Five. Yeah, it's five. The as the boom kind of quiets, um, you see that the mist has kind of recoagulated into like a more humanoid form. Um, and it kind of, oh my, oh, that was going somewhere. Uh, <laughs> uh, look, um, I'll do it again if you'd like. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, well, then, if you could use your misty ability to check for me what's behind that door, I'd greatly appreciate it. There's there's a bunch of uh, of uh, uh, sand guys that are hitting each other with, with weapons and stuff on the other side of that sand one. Sand guys? <laughs> yes. Like I'm, they're I'm made quite, of sand. Uh, yeah, like they're, they're uh, uh, moving sand people. Yeah, they hit each other with swords into all eternity. It's very quite boring. Okay. Uh, have you been in here long? Um, that's a good question. Um, hi, <laughs> I, I, uh, whatever time it is in this world, I'm sure it's 400 years later than whenever I first last saw it, <laughs> but uh, oh. something in my bones, yes. Oh, yes, I get that too when it rains. Um, do you know anything about that? And Lucy's gonna point to the sword eating bear. Mm -hmm. Oh, um. That appears to be another one of Gladio's pets. Who? Uh, Gladio, uh, you're you're in his house right now. I uh, thought this was, the, this was your house. The no, oh no, 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 not. I, I'm sorry. Uh, the, no, my manor is further out down to the south. Uh, no, this is Gladio's temple. Uh, God of Swords, God of Forge, God of War, God of Ducks. Uh, hmm. no, those things came in here. No, no, those are pests. I have no idea where they came from. Oh, well, thank God. No. Well, we are looking for some folks who went missing. You wouldn't happen to know about anything about them, would you? <laughs> Maybe. And... I'm, ki I'm, a, I'm kidding. I'm a vampire. I, 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 look, you're going to have to be a little bit more specific than that. Uh, did we get a description, anyone? I don't recall. I'm asking because I genuinely don't remember. Yeah. It's been um, several hours. I, I remember specifically the book being the water supply is tainted because swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the name, name was Peter, uh, P I T O R. And um, Knight, uh, we're going to go with veteran style, uh, RN from Final Fantasy X, like gray hair, um, big. Fuck all sword. Um scar. Yeah. It, kind of old old school knight. And yeah. So have you seen anyone like that around? Uh can't say I've had the pleasure, no. I mean, let's let's think um, about this for a second. If uh, a dude with a way bigger sword showed up, those little Drucks would have been like, oh my god, look at the size of his sword. He's obviously our leader. And then would have like taken them to wherever they keep their good food and like comfy beds. Hmm. Like adventuring 101. That's absolutely n no nonsense what totally happened, probably. Right. You know, we really should have tried to unionize the ducks instead of murdering them. Um I regret mm -hmm. nothing. Vampire person. What's your uh, name? Uh, Remy LeFou. Remy Le Remy LeFou. Mm -hmm. Does that name ring a bell? Oh no. <laughs> I, I mean, it's okay. it's a it's shade like off is... of Gambit, but yeah. 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 You, you uh, have like this never a... never heard of this guy before. Okay. <laughs> right. Um. Well, the um protectors of this place that we dispatched earlier were speaking about a forge waking up. 
You wouldn't happen to know where that is, would you? Um, I, I, I would only assume at the back of the temple. Really? And I'm sure someone that is as generous and accommodating as yourself wouldn't mind showing us the way. Um. <laughs> you are certainly the expert in this area, and I'm sure that we could help you. She's going to walk up close to this guy and adjust his lapels. Mm -hmm. Find you a little snack afterwards. Um. Why would I? Why would I not just fly out of here right now and go do that on my own? Oh, because then you... I well... pop out from behind the Lucy again. <laughs> He's like, oh, God! <laughs> I... Oh, yes. I mean, we would have to hunt you down and kill you. And then also, you know, you'd have all the villagers running after you with pitchforks and whatnot. It's very bad for business. Very bad for um, snack time. It's a bad look. I love that Lucette is just channeling Nifty from Has Been Hotel the entire time. It's like, <laughs> we could just murder things. I kill the bugs. <laughs> Watch them. Nifty's the best. <laughs> um, so, what yeah. do you say? A beneficial partnership, symbiotic relationship? Uh, but I like the people being scared. I, I, that's my notoriety. Oh, don't worry. Criminals can be very scared if you um, intimidate them. Hmm. Um, Lucy's going to give her best shark-like smile to this guy. This is very much her, I know how to scare the bad guys. <laughs> you don't scare me time. <laughs> He's, he seems curious. Um, he knows that, like, he could probably just, like, mist and get out of here. Or, like, bat pop out and get out of here he but could he's try like, oh yes become a bat that would be so much fun got to with lose? another sonic boom don't you think all that I... um sensitive hearing uh, hmm. now i could i could leave but you could try I don't know. There's so much weird shit going on in here. I can't help it. Um, sure. Why not? I'll I'll take you to the forge. I like it, Mister Lefou. I think this is the start of a beautiful partnership. And Lucy's yeah. going to link arms with the vampire that she just harassed into working with. Them. Yeah, and he's just kind of like, okay. <laughs> um, and I think with that, we're pretty much at the time that you were. Yeah. Kind of looking to aim to stop it at. That, that seems like a reasonable stopping point, too. Um, thank you, Darren. This was fun oh, so totally, far. yeah, totally, totally. Thank yeah. you all for playing. It's and for hosting this stuff and everything. I, yeah, seriously appreciate it. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself immensely, and it's it's an interesting system to work through. And sometimes just like um, having the the ability to just stop and be like, all right, how does this shit work again? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, incredibly yeah, for sure. Helpful. I but, uh, I like to do more of uh, more of these as demos, mm -hmm. right? Rather than like doing a structured campaign as a, like an actual play kind of thing, because mm -hmm. then I feel like, oh well, we're still designing the thing, and rules might change next week. So yeah, but yeah. Well, and, so. and any time that we uh, host a game on the channel, I'll generally do between two and four sessions, mm -hmm. just to kind of highlight the system and be like. This is what it's kind of like. This is what you're familiar with. Here's uh, some things to latch on to. Because let's be fair, we all play games a lot. And it's hard to convince your regular gaming group to be like, hey, we're going to play a new system for 80 weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're like, but I really like playing this one over here. Two, two to four sessions, though. Mint. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, me and Sarah were talking about this on, I, I think it's like a podcast or something where we were like, we need to really need to normalize the the five session game yeah, <laughs> yeah um yeah I, i've started on um, my channel we do um i have two long running campaigns of uh, pathfinder and 5e mm -hmm. um but for like smaller um ttrpgs um i've been focusing a lot on like 10 to 13 session campaigns yeah. It's just you you get the same benefit of it and then if you want to extend it you can take a break and come back and do season two yep. yeah 
that's that's what we've done with uh, a couple of things. So, so like uh, we ran Girl by Moonlight. It was four sessions mm -hmm. and we had like eight or nine people sign up to want to play. But, you know, you, you got to break it down into bite sized chunks. Mm -hmm. So we'll revisit that in the summertime when everybody's uh, down to play some Girl by Moonlight. You included. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll find a day. But yeah, yeah, Mondays is always our like short, short form story. Mm -hmm telling uh sessions and then wednesdays are our long form continuous campaigns and stuff so yeah kate how did you uh how did you find your first streamed game ever i found it to be lots of fun and excellent. not nearly as scary as i thought it was going to be excellent Yay. you're you're your right everyone is you. very nice <laughs> no my health didn't betray me <laughs> <laughs> yeah how it's, would you uh... Oh, I had a great time. Excellent. You're a, 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 a stabby chaos goblin, and I'm here for oh, it. Oh, it's so <laughs> great. <laughs> it's uh, so much fun. Like, I, uh, you know, whenever I first started really doing streaming, I think like two or three years ago now, isn't, I, I think, um, I just remember it always feeling like, oh my gosh, this is, what if I mess something up on, on, and then it's on the internet forever. And yeah, and then you just kind of get to a point where like, that's so in the back of your, like it's not even a subconscious thought. It's just sort of a like, all right, well, like we're on the stream now and like, hey, yep. chat's cool to talk to, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of those things where you just you learn to accept over time that technical issues are gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you just take a minute to deal with them and then you come back. And it's never gonna be at a convenient time. But you know what? Everyone goes through it. That's how life works. Mm -hmm. Taryn, I yeah. it it I don't know if I ever told you this. The very first time I ever streamed on the internet was in a TV studio doing a 12 hour D and D campaign with <laughs> like 16 players. And every two hours they just rotate the table for different players. And I was DMing it the entire time having to like three months later, we, and now we, we pick up mm -hmm. and where it's like, Oh off. yeah, that's, that's nuts. The, uh, the, the only reason that I started Logomancy and started doing this is I had like, three four hundred people on socials reach out and be like where can i buy the adventure that you ran them through and i'm like this was all ripped off from 80s movies man it's just like fart jokes and movie tropes yeah but, but oh, one of those things i i will say this uh this adventure by the way to anybody who's interested uh temple of a thousand swords it's by brad kerr um mm -hmm. i i've i've run this thing now seven times um, this is legit one of my favorite adventure, or one of my favorite dungeons I've ever read. It's just so out there, bizarre. And if you really like that, like, just not quite in the realm of Troika and like that kind of absurdist, but that like, okay, goofy adventure time kind of feels a fantasy. Oh, mm -hmm. I love Brad Kerr's writing. It's it's just that right spice of like comedy injected into everything. Yeah, I feel the same way about everything that Keith Baker's put out. Uh, the oh, original yeah. creator of Eberron. Uh, there's a link in chat for everybody um, to Temple of a Thousand Swords, by the way. J I just linked to the drive through RPG for oh, it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, given that it's a, a Twitch landscape and all that jazz, we should probably try and find some fancy folks to raid out to before we call it a night. Ooh. Um, we're going to be back here uh, next Monday, Taryn, Monday. Monday. Yep, yep. <laughs> Thought it was Tuesday. Yeah, I gotta write this. Up. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, again, uh, six p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, probably try and wrap it for the next session based on what you shared. But I mean, yeah. If we, depending on how you guys feel and schedules and stuff, if it goes a little longer, it is what it is. I have no qualms. Life is good. So, um, thank you guys all for sticking around. Everybody who's still in chat and for our lovely players. I appreciate your uh, your time and your faces and uh, um, the the courage to step onto a stream for the first time. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, Kate and I met specifically Terrifying. because uh, she posted on Twitter. How does one do TTRPG streams and get on there? And I'm like, well, you want to try? Let's this. do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I then filled it out and then immediately was like, oh wait, what? You want me to do what? Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> oh no what have i done um 
I'm having a look. Uh, you know what? Our good friends at the Blackwater are uh, streaming a one shot tonight called All Clerics. And uh, I think we're going to rate out to them. Um, <laughs> if you haven't subbed to them or uh, followed them on uh, Twitch, they are amazing role players and lovely people. So uh, check them out. And for everybody else, uh, socials are in the doobly doo. Um, if you look up the Hype Goblin or uh, Lydia Corinne or Indestructible Boy, uh, you'll be able to find their individual channels. Uh, Kate, I believe you keep things a little more mellow on the streaming front because, you know, first time and all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, I am going to raid out to the Blackwater. And we're out in five, four, three, two, one. Good night, everybody. Yeah.